Kyle Field in College Station, Texas. Temperature in the mid-50s, and the forecast, unfortunately, is for more rain. And South Texas has seen plenty of rain this summer and also the last few days. Missouri won the coin toss, and as Larry Smith told us last night, if they won it, they wanted to go on defense and pour first, so they have deferred to the second half, and the Aggies will get the football. Sir Parker and Toya Jones, number five, back to Brad Hamrick will kick it off. 13th ranked Missouri, 6th ranked Texas A&M. This is Taylor. And is wrapped up short of the 20-yard line at the 17. Jamonte Robinson, the outstanding freshman. And the quarterback will be Randy McCown, as we learned a few moments ago from Jim Knox. He had a separated shot. And he didn't play last week, but he says he feels pretty good. Really come on. Rucker has been very consistent up front. And of the skill guys, Jamar Toombs, a true freshman at fullback. He'll carry the football some, and he's having a terrific first college season. McCown on a hitch, and as soon as your knee is down in college, you're done. So that'll be a three-yard loss to Chris Cole, the defense of Missouri, and they are outstanding on the defensive side of the ball. Justin Smith is a true freshman, maybe the freshman of the year, not only in the Big 12, but nationally. He is terrific, and Barry Odom leads a very good linebacking core. The secondary has come on, plenty of interceptions. Carlos Posey's been in the end zone twice this year. Second and 13, Dante Hall trying to find some room. Not much, about three yards. We are at Kyle Field in College Station, Texas, and we're thrilled you're along with Dave Lapham and Jim Knox. I'm Drew Goodman. Missouri comes in number 13 in the country, the highest they have been ranked since 1981 when they reach number eight in the country and that is also the last year that they knocked off a top 10 team and the texas aggies come in at number six in the land third down and ten and the town throws it away short of his intended target jamar tombs and the Aggies will have to punt it and immediately dave field position will be critical in this game. Oh, most definitely. We talked about that at the top of the broadcast. And McCown throwing the ball short on first down. He threw the ball short to Chris Cole. Had to take a knee to receive the football. Off schedule immediately. Second and long, third and long throws the ball short. So Randy McCown in this weather, coming off a separated shoulder, not totally fluid yet, delivering the football. Now, we have one of the best punters in the land, it's Shane Leckler. Randy Potter is back deep. He's going to get away from this one, and it does take an Aggie bounce out of bounds at the 44-yard line. So it pays for Missouri kicking off. They'll get great field position at the 44-yard line, and their quarterback is Corby Jones. And the good news for Tiger fans, as they learned last week, Corby Jones is as healthy as he has been since the start of the season, and he was marvelous last week. Colorado. He had 108 yards rushing and well over 100 passing. The offensive line is very good. I know Dave Lapham loves Mr. Heimberger. Craig Heimberger, a 313-pound senior at right guard. And when they throw it, Kent Lehman is the guy that needs to have a big game. And that is where they go immediately. And a hookup. Excuse me, that's John. Up of about eight or nine to the 46-yard line. They'll actually get a nine-yard gain for the Tigers. What they want to do, Missouri, is throw the ball on first down. Ronald Flemons, all sophomores on the defensive line for the Aggies, and work along with Datwin having great years at linebacker. Webster, the corner, will come up and smack you. Second and one. Jones on the option, wrapped up by Wynn, but he got enough for a first down. Let's take a look at the keys to victory day for Missouri. Yeah, what they want to try to do is score first, and with the short field after the defensive effort that Missouri had, they're in position to maybe do that, negotiating a short field. Avoid three and outs. Last week, 
Oklahoma eight straight three and outs. That can't happen today. And the kicking game is going to be huge in this football game, dictating field position as we saw in the first punt by AM. First carry for Devin West, and he goes straight ahead for about four or five yards. How about the Aggies, Dave? What do they have to do? Well, they're talking about the three T's for the Aggies. They're plus 10 in the turnover department for the season, but they're minus one the last four games. They want to get up back on track there. Third downs, they want to win the third down conversion battle, have third and shorts offensively, make Missouri try to convert third and longs on their offensive end. Time of possession, they'd like to play keep away and keep Devin West and Corby Jones on the sideline as long as they possibly can. Second down and seven. The fullback is Sean Benton. Lehman comes in motion. Jones put it on the ground. He lost it. Talked about turnovers as being a key in this football game. Tug of war going on right now at the bottom of the pile. AM says they've got it. The strong hands and strong wrists come up with the football. Normally, the guy that initially has the ball may not end up with it. Corey Jones has a tendency to run with the ball, not tucked away. He has it out there like a loaf of bread period. Coaching staff has tried to correct that, but Corby decides he had a, a throwing option, but decides to tuck it and run. Didn't have the football secured. It was stripped out of there, and AM comes up with it. Big takeaway, nullifying excellent field position Missouri had. You know what? I'm not so sure that uh, it was stripped. I think he flat lost it. Got to tuck it away in this weather. It's a, it's a slippery pigskin today. Five-yard line, toss sweep. Dante Hall trying to cut it back. And he'll get a few yards before Barry Odom grabbed him around the ankles. He's got a holding active. call, I think, as well. Barry Odom. Down at the 37-yard line, a referee, Randy Bristol. That's well, another thing you have to avoid in a game like today. A day like today, you got to avoid the big penalty. And then getting off schedule once again. Afford second, third, and longs. On the offense, it'll be a 10-yard penalty and a replay, first down. wet field it's hard to throw the ball it's hard to hang on to the football and both of these schools have been great with turnovers this year RC Slocum's team comes in defensively third overall in the nation that's been a staple for his club since he took over 10 years ago the wrecking crew defense one of the finest in the land Sir Parker in the game goes in motion. And the fullback, Jamar Toombs, trying to run through a tackle. Finally dragged down by Jeff Marriott. The rain continues to fall for an update in the raindrops. Jim Knox. All right, thanks, Drew. Yeah, the rain continues to come down. It's getting harder and harder. But this is a good draining cow field turf. 12 inches of sand underneath. Now, get this. AM so far this season has played in eight games that it has rained also. Eight games, raining games games right there and they even had to cancel their picture day moved it inside due to the rain so you guys call me the rain man huh well you are the rain man but uh, the Aggies have played in more rain than you've seen this year I guess eight of 11 toss sweep Dante Hall he'll cross the 30 to the 32 yard line they need to get all the way out to the 46 for a first down you, know, you look at this matchup in the rain you think AM with all the experience they've had this season playing in the rain, that's an edge. But I think Missouri with the bigger sized offensive line, the big running back, and the strong quarterback, if the field starts to get a little slick, there may be a little bit of an edge to Missouri from a physical standpoint. So we'll see how this thing unfolds. But one thing AM can't keep affording to do like they're doing early in this football game is getting off scheduling early downs and having third and a bunch. It's a, it's a tough conversion. Well, they got third and a bunch here, third and 14. Again, they need the 46-yard line. McCown down the middle and nearly intercepted. It was not to the turf. Jamani Robinson around at 22. Wade Perkins in the vicinity. And the Aggies will have to punt it again. Missouri, nice coverage down the football field. The, look at the zone drop that Robinson takes in the middle of the football field, then breaks on the football. Nowhere to go. Randy McCown actually took a chance delivering that thing into the crowd that he did, but not a takeaway. 
a mere incompletion, but it results in Texas A&M having to punt the football away again. You know, he showed a shot of Larry Smith a moment ago in the rain gear. By talking to him last night, we got the feeling he wasn't entirely displeased that the forecast was for rain. No, I, I think because of the size of his of his football team, particularly offensively, that all of his running back to induce him to a wet field. Leckler. This is a great punt. Randy Potter waiting for it. And from the 25, he goes backwards. Great job by Toya Jones down on the coverage unit for the Aggies. No score, 9.37 to go in the first. Cheap payments. At Jim Archer's Used Car Supercenter, I-45 North at Gulf Bank, $4.99 down gets you cheap payments. A 95 Toyota Celica GT and 96 Pontiac Grand Am, both $4.99 down, only $1.69 a month. Or how about these? A beautiful 95 Chevy Silverado Extended Cab and a 98 Dodge Caravan, only $2.29 a month with $4.99 down. So call us today, 281-448-7660 for your cheap payments. Question, can you get your favorite local channels on a satellite dish? No. Satellite dishes can't get Houston's ABC Channel 13 or ABC Channel 2 or Houston CBS Channel 11 or even Houston's UPN Channel 20, WB 9, KNWS Channel 51 or Fox 26. So if you want to watch local news, weather, sports and your favorite shows, look to Warner Cable. Warner Cable, still value in home entertainment. extra mattress or two for the holidays now during our Sealy holiday sale you get fingers lowest sale prices of the year every mattress is on sale every Sealy every Sealy posturepedic every Stearns and Foster get fingers lowest sale prices of the year just in time for the holidays plus same day next day or any day mattress express delivery and take up to 50 months to pay the Sealy holiday sale is at your fingers well, rain or shine, you know the Aggie fans will turn out. They always have, and traditionally they have one of the finest football teams in the land this year, number six. And for seniors, 18 of them, this will be their final home game at Kyle Field. That win leading a terrific senior class out. And obviously, they'd like nothing more than a win today against 13th-ranked Missouri. There is that win. Missouri's got plenty of seniors. They'll be at home next week against Kansas State. Two tight ends for Corby Jones from the 24 on first down. And straight ahead to about the 27-yard line. Devin West and Wynn and Cornelius Anthony bring him down. Well, two tight end formation. Normally that's an ISO, a little bit of a lead. Singletary, focus on the play. And that win is, he's so elusive, he's like Gumby. He doesn't give you a hitting service. He just bends and twists, and it's hard to sustain blocks on him. He separates from blocks as well as anybody in college football. I was going to say, when you do get a hit on him, he doesn't stay blocked long, does he? Throw it in the flat, Layman turns it upfield and gets a first down out to the 37-yard line. That was actually a long lateral. That was a backward pass, exactly. Dosman did a good job out in the perimeter giving a block to his cohort, Layman. And that goes as a rush, because that was a backward pass. Corby Jones delivers the ball behind him to Layman. Dosman, already out in the corner, has given that block to give Layman a little bit of an impact with and generate the first down. And this one is well defended. Warwick Holdman at quarterback, and he got the Corbin in a hurry. Warwick Holdman, that win gets a, gets a lot of recognition and publicity, and rightfully so. But this young man has had one super football season. Warwick Holdman, tremendous athlete, leads the team in sacks with seven, and right there it's equivalent to a quarterback sack. Corby running the option, is thrown for a loss, throwing Missouri off schedule. And he's a good two-way linebacker, as the numbers show there. He doesn't only get after the passer, but he'll drop back in coverage. Yeah, and, and that's his 15th tackle for loss. So he's done a good job of penetrating and disrupting at the line of scrimmage in the running game. Second and 13. Jones, five-step drop, out cut, and he misses Lehman. Rich Cody over the top. 
The strong safety was in the neighborhood, and it'll be third and 13. I think if you're going to throw the football in this game, it's wise to throw it early because the longer you play in these conditions, the wetter the pigskin gets. And which quarterback has the bigger hands controlling the football? Courtney with a 2-1 to one touchdown to interception ratio, although it's not big numbers, six touchdowns, three interceptions, completing over 50% of his passes. But the quarterback that has to control this football in this weather has an edge. In one turnover already, Corby Jones fumbled last series. And that is complete, but well short of a first down. Michael Jamison reacting up on Dawesman. And Missouri will have to punt it back to the Aggies. That's called closing on the football. And Jamison closed on it as well as you could hope as a coach. Made the route recognition, broke on it. The collision was almost immediate upon arrival of the football. Vince Sebo has been challenged by Larry Smith. Coach Smith said, Vince, you have to have a big game today because field position is going to be critical. Yeah, Larry Smith was concerned about punt exchanges and losing those hidden yards. You've got to win the hidden yards battle between punt exchanges. Taylor and Webster, the twin safeties. 39, Webster took one back against Oklahoma a week ago. It is grabbed by Webster, and good field position for the Aggies at their 37 when we come back to College Station. Never felt like this until I kissed you, I kissed you, I kissed you, I kissed you. How did I exist until I kissed you, I kissed you, I kissed you. When you find the one that's unlike any other, that's when it's love. That's when it's Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, this is the taste. Dr. Pepper, this is the taste. Okay, now watch as I explain the new money manager account. Now, these are our investment beans. They're active beans. Caffeinated. Yeah. These are our checking account beans, which just kind of sit there. But the money manager account keeps more of our beans over here. Perking. Perking. And then brings them back only when needed to cover a check, which could mean... Higher overall bean return. Right. Would you make some more coffee? A nice demonstration. Most companies that make canopies for our nation's jet fighters look to this oil company for a critical co make them bulletproof. When it really counts, they seem to be the one to count on. With that in mind, what kind of gasoline do you think they'd make for your car? You'd be right. Sitco, when it counts. No score in the rain at College Station, Missouri, and the Texas Aggies. Don't forget, at the conclusion of today's game, we will name our BMW play of the game. And no score right now as we are getting set for Texas A&M to snap the football. R.C. Slocum, his record in the month of November, 30-2. and two. Well, he's having Novembers to remember. There's no doubt about that. That is amazing. Now, those are the games that coaches always say are remembered. The ones played in November. And RC has won 30 of 32. Short gain is Justin Wyatt. Grabs Dante Hall. And Dante Hall is a different kind of runner than Devin West, isn't he, Dave? Well, he is, but he's more of a slasher as well. Devin West, though, is strictly north-south. And Hall is a guy that... Uh, you know, he needs to have that nice surface for a little bit of a cutback. But both of these running backs, a wet field won't hurt them as much as a, as a June bug that has to have the big cutback. A loss of one on the play, second and 11. McCown throws it in the flat. Chris Taylor trying to operate. And he'll get close to the 40-yard line. Good open field tackle by Carlos Posey. Taylor very versatile. Last week, he took a few snaps at quarterback. Well, what you have here is one wide receiver blocking for another. Watch number 81 in the dark jersey, Matt Baumgartner. Watch the block that he throws right there on the edge to get it going. He picks Easter off, allowing his cohort to get up the football field, and Taylor takes advantage. 
Third and seven. The Aggies need the 47. The count with time. It is complete, but it's going to be short of a first down. The tight end, Dan Campbell, caught it. Al Sterling and Caldron off Easter made sure he didn't go any further. Could be another one, two, three and out for AM. Just can't get anything going rhythm wise offensively. But the field position, the exchange of punts, Sebo had a little bit of a shank off the side of his foot. AM had good field position, couldn't do anything with it, but they may pin Missouri back inside their own 20 yard line, depending on what Leckler does here. Well, last year, Leckler was top five in the nation punting the football. This year, he's 10th. So he's a pretty good weapon to have. Good snap. And Leckler gets away. Another pretty. Randy Potter wants a fair catch. And he staggers under it at the 18-yard line. No score. Need any help? Absolutely fine. Thank you. Are you lost? Grazie. Uh, where is Cafe Verita? It's right there. Italian. Good Echo domani. What does that mean? Oh. Not a clue. <laughs> Echo domani. It means Italian. Do rich people have more friends than the rest of us? Are they more deserving of a comfortable seat? Are they more entitled to break safely on a rainy day? Are we the only car company? That Century by Buick, full of amenities for under 20000 And now Century's an even better value. Save over $2,200 with 1.9% APR financing on every 99. Century by Buick, a luxury car for everyone. Happy birthday. Oh, good, another apple. Where's Danny? Oh, you get to help on the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. have won 12 straight here at Kyle Field, one of the best home records in the 90s, and big plays on defense and special teams, the order of the day. Well, here you see Toya Jones make the play. Gatwin makes a nice effort at linebacker, and then his cohort, Holdman, makes a good play on the edge, so sure tackling, special teams, defense, that is going to be the order of the day today. Offensively, you just don't want to make a big mistake in this bad weather that could cost your team. And could not take advantage of Corby Jones's fumble early in this quarter. And right now the Tigers backed up at their own 18 on first down. Devin West straight ahead. And he rumbles to the 26-yard line. That's how Missouri likes to play football. Straight ahead, run it between the tackles. And this guy does it well between the tackles. Devin West, look at that average. Almost six yards per rush. 17 rushing touchdowns. School record right there. He gets those shoulder pads square. A big back, gets north and south. Once he makes his decision, he's going full four. Second and four. Give it to the fullback. And Rob West has about three yards. Rob West got a few carries last week against Colorado and responded. He did a nice job. And so they throw him a bone early, and it will be close to a first down. In fact, they won't measure. It is a first down for Missouri. You can see him averaging over five yards a carry as well. When you have a fullback that gets his neck shortened all game on those isos, lead blocking, let the big dog eat every once in a while, and they're letting that happen. And I would continue to run the ball behind Reedy and Heinberger. They're running it right up the gut between the center and right guard, and they are effective. They operate very, very efficiently together. Devin West, and they move the pile to the 35-yard line. Good gain on first down. And we asked Devin West recently how he would describe his running style. Here's how he responded. I'm a north and south runner. You know, I like to hit the hole fast and just just go forward. You know, sometimes I might make a cut and sometimes I might not. So I, I like to run hard. I like to to uh, deliver some punishment. Uh, he's 
certainly delivers punishment. And he's probably a good uh, mucker, isn't he? Very good, mud man. I'll tell you what, the wet field will not hurt this fella. And he's going to be busy today. And he's running people over. First down out of the 44-yard line. And I guarantee you, there's probably a little hint of a smile on Larry Smith's face right now. This is his kind of football. Well, we talked about in the open. The offensive line that takes control of the line of scrimmage first will find themselves in good shape. And there's nothing fancy going on right here. Heimberger pulls from the right guard position. Keen, the fullback's block. He sees the fullback's numbers. He turns it upfield, gets his block on the linebacker. And then Devin West hammers it in there for positive yards. Heimberger has had a few hamburgers. And I'll tell you what, he comes off the ball and knocks you around. Yeah, you like him a bunch. I think he's a good football player. Three-step drop, quick release, and the football is dropped by Kent Lehman. Dave, you played 10 years in the National Football League. You played in all kinds of weather. They can dry that ball all they want, but by the time it's snapped and the guy drops back, it's soaking wet again, isn't it? Oh, exactly, and the longer the game goes on, they try to do a good job of keeping them as dry as possible with towels, but they just get saturated. I mean, the only way to, to dry it off is to put it in an oven. Can't do that. And you know what? The ball gets heavier. It's like the quarterbacks end up starting to throw a shot put. I mean, there's some additional weight, and it affects the throwing mechanics as the game progresses. And Lehman does not drop the football much. They go to West on second down, and he gets a few yards before that wrecking crew defense responds. You know, it's an amazing stat all year. Think about this. All year, and we're in November, only three runs more than 20 yards against the wrecking crew. Well, that shows their athleticism defensively, Drew. They run. They all have better than average speed. They don't get knocked off their feet, and they separate from blocks. They keep their pad level low. They separate from blocks and fly and rally to the football. Big down here, third and seven. Jones with time and oh. nearly intercepted. Rich Cody broke on the ball. The three-year starter had it in his mitts and lost it. Kareem Wise, the intended target. A couple of first downs for Missouri. And then Texas A&M says no more. Well, this is an out-of-pocket. Corby Jones is now out-of-pocket. Throws the football a little bit late from a timing standpoint. And Cody, nice route recognition there. He breaks right in front of Kareem Wise. Rich Cody almost saw golden goalpost. If he catches that, he's off to the races for a defensive score. Sebo will hit it around his own 35. Webster and Chris Taylor back deep. Well, they switch sides of the field. Taylor is right down the hash mark now. Sebo unloads a monster punt. He got all of it, and it's going to go all the way into the end zone. So a punt of 53 yards, but a net of 33 as it's going to come out to the 20. Look at Sebo. He's barefooted. A barefooted punter. That left foot. It's going to be a little squishy down there in that football field. Watch him punt the football barefooted with that left foot. Now he's, his left foot slides out from under him. But I'll tell you what, that's got to be uh, that's got to be a little squishy heading down that football field. That, you know, it's got to be something going between your toes there. Well, for the best source, uh, Big 12 scores and information, visit the Big 12 website at www.big12sports.com. He's got to put some uh, screw-ins in his uh, feet, glue them on there. Here's a wide receiver screen set up to Cole, and he'll get out to the 28-yard line. That is the most productive first down yet for the Aggies. And who was out in front? The big athletic left tackle, Rex Tucker. He was out in front of that screen to the wide receiver, take a step down the football field, and then get out on the perimeter. Tucker, very athletic, 293-pound guy who can run. Second and two in advance of eight. Jamar Toombs, and Jamar gets just a yard. Missouri was very concerned. Mo Anthony, the defensive coordinator, said, we haven't played too many teams this year that really utilize the fullback. Right, Nebraska, Makovica obviously carries the football and carries it well. Toombs is an excellent runner of the football, but Mo Anthony and the coaching staff He's not as advanced in all other phases as Makovica. Does he block in the running game as well? Is he as effective in blitz pickup? But one thing he'll do is run right through the first guy. Very rarely does the first man tackle twos. Third and one. 
It's Toombs, and Big Jamar has a first down, still going. Look at the big fellow rumble. True freshman from Kilgore, Texas State, and that's his nickname, Big Rumble. Well, and you can't get your arms around him. He's 260 pounds. He came in at 270. Melted down 10 pounds, but you got to wrap him up with both hands, both arms, and, and take him down to the turf. If you tackle Tombs high, he'll put you in a tombstone. I'll tell you, he is a load and a half. McCow takes a shot. And he took it on the left shoulder, which is good news, as Jamonte Robinson laid the leather. The bad shoulder is his throwing arm, his right shoulder. And this is what the coaching staff from Missouri feared about McCowns. He will tuck it and run. That's the dimension that the coaching staff was fearful of. Brandon Stewart does not have that in his arsenal as readily as Randy McCown does. Take a look at that, though. You eliminate those 19 sacks for 104 yards. He's averaging well over four yards, almost five yards a carry without throwing the football, taking rushes into consideration that don't include sacks. So he is a factor when he tucks it and goes. The first chapter is closed in College Station. Field position battle. No score through 15 minutes. Hi, I'm Bob Vila, and this is Craftsman Innovation at its best. Craftsman Robogrip pliers are the world's first self-adjusting one-handed pliers. With just a simple squeeze of the spring-loaded handle, the jaws automatically adjust for a perfect fit. The Craftsman Robogrip works on faucets, pipes, and hoses, or for auto repairs. It has hundreds of household uses. And now Craftsman Robogrip pliers are available in a versatile three-pack with a 9-inch curved, a 9-inch V-notch, and a 7-inch straight Robogrip, a $70 value for only $49.99. And it comes with RoboGuards. The RoboGuards slip on and off easily to protect chrome, brass, and other fine finishes. RoboGrip has laminated construction, too, for extra toughness and durability. And like all Craftsman hand tools, RoboGrip is guaranteed forever. Have your Sears or other credit card ready and call 1-800-811-2002 to order your RoboGrip 3-pack with RoboGuards, a $70 value for only $49.99. Call 1-800-811-2002. Legend battery has smart plates, which are up to 28% thicker than the grids in ordinary batteries. That's important, because the battery won't get drained as easily. Even if you leave the lights on. Napa, over 200,000 parts. And everyone's important. The Al Britton Bell Tower here on the campus of Texas A&M University in College Station, Texas. The 6th ranked Aggies and the 13th ranked Missouri Tigers no score as we begin quarter number two. Drew Goodman, Dave Lapham, Jim Knox, second and ten for the Aggies at their own 38. Dante Hall, the single setback. An option from McCown and he'll get seven yards. Haven't seen that yet today. Tackle by Jumante Robinson as we check the numbers from the first quarter. Big right there, but unable to take advantage of it was Texas A&M. Otherwise, not a whole lot going on offensively. Missouri has run the football more effectively. Field position pretty much a wash. So right now, it's like a couple of heavyweights body punching a little bit. See who's going to let their guard down for a knockout punch and field position. The hidden yards are the big factor in this game like we would be. Third and three. McCown wants to throw for it. And it is complete to Taylor. Out of bounds at the 32-yard line of Missouri. The thing that McCown does very well, when he moves out of pocket, 
he throws the football on the run excellently, rolling right or rolling left. This time squares his shoulders up, gets the football down the field accurately, right in between corner and safety. Nice route run by Chris Taylor finding the seam of the zone and McCown delivering it very accurately. 22 yards on the pickup, just the 10th catch of the year for Chris Taylor, the sophomore from Madisonville, Texas. Dante Hall, cut down. To the 18-yard line. That's what Dante Hall getting some room. The key on this particular play, you described it as a cutback, Drew, and accurately so, Dante Hall. Watch the blocking on the right side. Watch the cutoff blocks on the back side. Nice job up front, executed by Andy Vincent. He got the seal, the cutoff block on Smith, and Hall saw that, turned it upfield. Nice deepest penetration for either team. Give it to Hall again, and he lost his footing at the 21. That will cost him about three yards. And he got up and looked at the turf disgustedly. And that's the thing, violent cuts on a wet field sometimes can, can backfire on you as the turf just gives right out. Hall plants that left foot. The left foot and right foot both give out on him. And he's on his side. So it'll be second down at 14. You know, already the turf is starting to get torn up between the hash marks. It's very noticeable from above. Flock to the top from McCown. Quick pass, ball on the ground. Missouri has it, now they're going to roll incomplete. Leroy Hodge couldn't squeeze it. What Missouri wanted to try to do on this one, watch the linebackers. They're going to they're gonna blitz. They're going to try to get right in McCown's face. Starling and Odom both come, and they both hit the same gap. Picked up by the guard and back accurately or effectively. McCown throws the ball accurately, but can't be controlled by Hodge. Nice blitz read, pre-snap blitz read by McCown. Got rid of the football very quickly. Good coverage by Carlos Posey. Third and 14. They need the eight-yard line. Blitz coming again. The cow. End zone shot. Touchdown. Rocked it. He dropped it. Oh, man. Dan Campbell had a touchdown. He lost it. Boy, couldn't control the football, and nobody's more upset about it than Big Dan Campbell, leader of this football team. And McCown put that right between the eight and the nine. McCown showed his elusiveness in the pocket. Here comes the blitz again. They lose rush lane contained. McCown drifts out to his left, throws the football right, right in Campbell's hands. I mean, that's one 99 times out of 100. He's going to snare that thing, but that was the one time it was dropped. Russell Bynum now on to an attempt, a 38-yard field goal. Boy, circle that one, though. Missed opportunities right there. Bynum, line drive kick, got it through. The Aggies wanted seven. They'll settle for three. And Dave, that's a great point. We always talk about making big plays. Right. That was a lost big play. Stop. Listen. That's the call of the roads of Texas you're hearing. And they keep chanting. Mustang. Getting dressed for work used to be simple. Blue or gray. But now that the work environment has become, well, more relaxed, dressings followed suit, which is why we can help you look like you're ready for business, no matter what type of business you're in. With, of course, a few possible exceptions. The Men's Warehouse. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. 1-800-776-SUIT. Buying a new car, the Alan Samuels way, means you're making a statement about who you are and what you do. It says something about your lifestyle, too. 
At Alan Samuels, however you make the statement, you'll find the vehicle and the deal that fits you. At Alan Samuels, it's not just about transportation, it's about you. It's the Alan Samuels way. You know, if you took a poll of the coaching staff and the players at Texas A&M, though Dan Campbell's primarily a blocker, he'd get a lot of MVP votes. He's one of the emotional leaders of this team, and right now he is distraught. Oh, he is, but he's the true Aggie. I mean, the coaching staff says if you have the term Texas A&M Aggie and look it up in Webster's, Campbell's picture is right there. He is exactly what they want in terms of character on this football team. Uh, Shane Leckler kicks it off and he kicks it out of bounds. So now decision for Missouri. Leckler, he's trying to directional kick it and shrink the field, the width of the field, but doesn't want to directional kick it out of bounds, that's for sure. Take it up there at the 35 yard line. Yeah, Dan Campbell's going to win you a lot of football games. And as you said, 99 times out of 100, he's going to make that catch. Kick out of bounds by the kicking team. A&M's elected the option of taking the ball on the 35. So they'll take it at the 35, and we take a look at our Buick scoring drive. 11 plays, 59 yards, and Texas A&M comes away with three. Russell Bynum from 38 yards away. That 11th play should have been a touchdown. Instead, incompletion, have to settle for field goal. Back, Devin West to tail back. Yeah, the power play. It's West galloping through a hole. Out to midfield. Devin West dragged down by Jason Webster in advance of 15. Let's take a look at what we're describing here when we talk about power play. There's two things to watch. Watch the fullback's block. Watch the guard key that block. If he sees the fullback's numbers, he's turning it upfield. And that's exactly what happens. He turns it upfield inside of the fullback. Everything's sealed off inside, and West is off to the races. 46 yards on seven totes already for Devin West. Corby can run. And he eludes that win. He gets 20 to the 30-yard line of Texas A&M. Rich Cody ran him out. Let's take a look at this and a run run pass option for Corby. A little press to digitation right there, a little magic. Watch him handle this football and freeze the defense. Watch number 88 in the white jersey though. Later on down the football field. Watch him operate down here. Watch him sustain the block. Corby Jones breaks right off the of Scooby's block down the football field for extra yards. That's good hustle downfield. Creep up. West still gets five yards. Dat Win tackled him. But straight ahead between the tackles, Missouri is getting it done right now. Nothing fancy. They ran the power to the left side. Devin West picked up big yards. They run the power to the right side, and they pick up five yards. And if you have second and five, your whole game plan is available to you. And it's courtesy of these big guys, the offensive line. Take a look at the number of starts right here. And, Re and Heinberger is strong himself with 64 starts out of Reedy and Niemeyer. Tell you what, that's a lot of experience up front with the Hogs right there. Second and five. And again, straight ahead for Devin West. And the slithering linebacker, that win, slipped through and got a piece of his leg. You know, we talked about smash mouth football, and Missouri likes to be physical. Watch the right side of the offensive line come off the line of scrimmage. Look at Heinberger. Oh, man. Just rolling him and pancaking him. Throw some maple syrup on that bad boy. Heinberger rolled the hips and rolled the defender on the backside. You get sophomore defensive linemen for AM. They're going to have to move a little bit more and not match up and two gap the big boys. Third and one. West. He got knocked down right around the sticks. It'll be close. Now these are two schools, if this is fourth down, these are two schools, two coaches, Larry Smith and R.C. Slocum, 
they have a lot of places where it's four down territory. Well, and, and that's true. And, and Larry Smith has a lot of confidence. They got the first down. Larry Smith has a lot of confidence when it's third and fourth down and two or less. 37 out of 47 times they have been successful. He has every belief that his offensive line will knock him off the ball. And Devin West, he doesn't go east and west. He goes north and south in a heartbeat. And Larry Smith loves that smash mouth, knock your teeth backwards philosophy. Rob West is checked into the backfield. Here's the option. Pitch to Devin West. Good collision at the 19-yard line. Boy, Rich Cody will come up and kiss you, won't he? I'm telling you what, one-on-one -on -one in the open field against Devin West, that's a training room, real training room film shot right there. I'll tell you, one-on-one -on -one like that, Cody puts his helmet across the bow and absolutely stymies West. This is what they're looking for, one-on-one. -on -one. Cody with a great stick. I mean, that is picture-perfect form right there, tackling one-on-one. -on -one. Rich Cody. Cody, the senior from Dallas. He's led the secondary in tackles the last three years. Second and ten, Devin West on the power play. Runs in at that win territory at the 14-yard line. He got five. It'll be third and five. And we talked about the mutters. It's not raining that hard anymore, but this field has taken a lot of water the last few days. We saw a cutback that was that was executed by Dante Hall where he fell flat on his side. Devin West and Toombs for AM, they're not that type of bat. They take it right at the line of scrimmage, downhill. Slot to the top on third and five. Jones wants to throw. Where does he? And Corby gets within a yard of the first down. He got to the 10. Cornelius Anthony Royland Bradley brought him down in a decision right. for Coach Smith. And they've only attempted three field goals all year. They've been successful on two of them. But Coach Smith may decide right here to muscle him up and get after him again. This is where Corby Jones hurts you. It's a boot leg to the right. The whole defense over pursues. He cuts back, lowers his pads, gets as much as he can. Fourth down in a yard. Once again, we already mentioned 37. 47, third and fourth and two or less, 10 of 15 on fourth down on conversions, 75% of the time. Let's see what happens here. And they need a full yard, maybe a yard and a half. Oh, Jones, our keeper. They're on the first down. And touchdown. You got it. Touchdown, Missouri. They were all bunched up, and Corby Jones took it, and that toe is very, very healthy. Tremendous block on the on the edge. Brandon Ford, the freshman tight end, got after Cody on the perimeter. What an excellent call, because Devin West had been hammering him between the tackles. So they bunch it up. It stands to reason Devin West is going to be the guy to try to get you that yard. A nice little fake by Corby Jones. He keeps it and tests him on the perimeter, gets the block from Ford, and just sashays inside the pylon for a big touchdown. Brian Long to attempt the extra point. And he gets it through. So Missouri on top in College Station. 7-3 with 8.07 to go in the first half. Airways, Northwest, KLM, United. All of these, in fact, most of the world's major airlines, domestic and international, rely on this oil company for fuel. When it really counts, they seem to be the one to count on. With that in mind, what kind of gasoline do you think they'd make for your car? You'd be right. Citgo, when it counts. In my hand, proof that we are finally getting our financial act together. <laughs> this is our monthly statement from our new money manager account. 
It's a way to make uh, our investments and our bank account work together automatically to help us earn more. Really? How much more? I'm not telling. <laughs> She's so silly. Well, I tell you stuff. Corby Jones scores the touchdown. Missouri on top on fourth down. A little play action bootleg. And Corby Jones is very healthy now. He says he's about 98%. He says, I don't want to answer any more questions about my toe. After answering questions about his toe for a month and a half, he said, believe me, if it gets worse, I'll let everybody know. I'll tell you, he was probably to the point where he's debating amputation. I mean, <laughs> it was such a pain in the neck. But now that that thing's healthy, you see the type of athlete that Corby Jones is. He is phenomenal. And as we'll see here after the kickoff, his ball handling on that play was extraordinary. It was huge, a huge factor in that touchdown. Brad Hammerich. Toya Jones with the football, and he'll get it to the 24-yard line. Let's take a look at, at what Corby Jones and company did. Watch him with the ball handling, the fake. And then all of a sudden, he's got the ball on his hip. Now watch Brandon Ford on the edge right here. 87, boom, right there. Takes Cody down. And that allows Corby Jones inside the pylon. Excellent play. Now, is Devin West a factor? Watch the fake that he executes. Up and over like he's got the ball. The linebackers are filling. Uh-oh, he didn't have the ball. Too late. Corby Jones is on the edge, taking it in for six. Excellent execution. Every phase of that offensive team right there. Corby's 10th rushing touchdown of the year. 24-yard line for Randy McCown and the Aggies. Dante Hall. And he'll get nine yards. Jamonte Robinson made the tackle. Good advance on first down. A look at the Buick scoring drive. 65 yards in nine plays, and a lot of it was Devin West up the gut. It really was, and that uh, that anchored AM. And then on the critical play on fourth down, they came with West up the gut again, but it was a fake to West. And then they got Corby on the edge, and that's the one two punch we talk about. West inside, Corby stretching you, and Hall, boy, he had a good week of practice. He didn't take much contact, he's been battling injury. Now here he is on his backside once again, and everybody collectively holding their breath here at College Station. Yeah, he's had a shoulder injury, and looks like Dante's okay. Grimacing a little bit, though. Let's take a look at our Big 12 Dr. Pepper leaders. Turnover margin, Kansas State plus 17, plus 8, plus 11 for the two schools playing today. And if you're on the plus side, you're going to win a lot of games. And they came into the game tied, tied for 12th in the country with one takeaway, plus one takeaway to the good side per game. Now, A&M had played one more game than Missouri had. Second and one for the Aggies. And they give it to Toombs. And I don't know if Jamar got what he needed. He needed a yard. And he took a blow from Jamonte Robinson and Justin Wyatt, number 90. That was a nice surge up front by the front seven. I'll tell you what, they did a good job of reestablishing that line of scrimmage in their favor. And we talked about the hogs between the hash marks were going to be critical in this one with the bad field conditions and the fact that both defenses are so extraordinary. Right now, Missouri, I think, is getting a little bit of an edge up front on both sides. Third down and a yard again. Paul. Oh. And he ran through the tackle of Easter for a first down. Now, what you have here is a great collision. Paul and Easter, and it's a stalemate. The one that gets the feet going first is going to win. Hall with the big, powerful thighs. Heck of a hit by Easter, but he's on his knees. Hall starts churning his knees, and he carries Easter for another five yards. Slip a quarter in that ride right there. Easter should put it right in the slot to Hall. I guess uh, Dante's okay. Man, yeah, he seems to be fine on that contact. Hall trying to cut back. Still going. Dante to the 45. 
Remember the old crab drill they used to make you do? You did that half your life, Dave. That helped out Dante Hall on that carry. Well, Hall is 5'8", 190 pounds. That is, that's a compact body right there. And he's got a nice lean. He's a quadricep and a pectoral. He's got no hitting surface. I mean, you, you don't have anything to smash on Dante Hall. And he's hard to find. He's got tremendous balance. I'm telling you what, boy, it's hard to tackle a quad and a pack and nothing else in there. No. 5'8", 190. He's a man. He's a short man, but I'm telling you, he's all man. Second down and three. Dante will take a break. Sir Parker nursing a sore hamstring. He's in the backfield. Option look. Parker. will lose Barry Oda. And now we'll have the first down in midfield. Good run by Sir Parker. And I'll tell you, sometimes cumulative hits can be a factor. Watch the hit that Gibson puts on McCown here as he runs runs the option. Number nine in the white. Boom. Right there on the right shoulder. Tell me he doesn't have a bullseye in that bad boy. He knows that separation is the right shoulder. Legal. Nothing wrong with it. Hit him high right in that right sh shoulder after he pits the ball. And th they're hoping that those type of hits may have a cumulative effect on McCown's ability to throw the football. Slot to the near side on first and ten. McCown, complete Eric Oliver. The veteran from Arlington, just his fifth catch of the year in front of Carlos Posey. And another solid gain on first down. Penn State trying to bounce back. They lead Northwestern. Ooh, Michigan, two touchdowns up on unbeaten Wisconsin. Florida over the Gamecocks early. And Mississippi State, and Jackie Sherrill, the former Aggie coach, leading 7-0 over the Tide. Not much doing. Justin Wyatt got downfield and made the tackle. And let's get an update on Dante Hall from Jim Knox. Jim? Okay, thanks, Drew. As you can see, Dante back in the game. He came over, missed the last two plays due to a cut on his right forearm. They bandaged that up, and Dante Hall back in the game right now. He's on the sidelines. He will return in a moment. See, he could play hockey, too, Dante Hall. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'll tell you what, a little cut is not going to keep you out of this football game. Only, uh, you have to have a bone sticking out of the skin, I think, to stay out of this game. This is going to be a big timer. Third and five here. McCown will operate out of the gun. Quick throw. Catch is made by Derek Spiller. First down, Aggies. Plus 36-yard line. Campbell and Spiller, Drew, are probably the best tandem of tight ends in the country. And nice little release by Spiller. Runs a little uh, pivot route. The ball is delivered accurately by McCown. No pressure in his face at all. Spiller and Campbell. Big. Both can get it done at the line of scrimmage. Campbell, though, I'm sure still regrets that uh, that drop. Had to settle for a field goal. A potential touchdown he dropped. The blockers in front. Hall trying to find some room. And he's corralled at the 36-yard line. And folks uh, here wanted a late hit, but... Thought it was still in bounds when Gibson grabbed him and tossed him. RC's not happy at all. RC Slocum saying you got to call that. It's right in front of AM's bench. He's saying that's horrible. You got to make a call. And Larry Smith, very cool, kind of collected, saying what's the big deal? What's the problem? What's up with that? Take a look at Missouri though. Watch them pursue. Everybody stays on their feet. Nobody hits the ground. Everybody, nobody gets cut, knocked to the turf. Boy, that is late. Gibson slung him into the AM bench late. As he's out of bounds, just slings him to the turf. That, that is very, very questionable. Yeah, you're right. I may have to reappraise that uh, thought. He was a couple yards out of bounds. Second and ten. Complete at the 30-yard line. Chris Cole hauls it in, and Harold Piercy locked him up immediately. It'll be third down and about three and a half. Here's what's interesting. With 3.05 to go in the first half, both of these teams have never trailed this year at halftime, and that includes Texas A&M against Florida State and Missouri against Ohio State and Nebraska. Well, if this stays as it is, 7-3, you'd have to think that, that that trend may be bucked right here. I mean, if 
Both teams had a field goal. We may have another tie at halftime, but right now, Missouri's in good shape. Here's a quarterback draw. McCow will have the first down. He stepped out of a tackle, and Randy McCow will move the chains for the Aggies. The intangibles that McCow provides this football team is why the coaching staff has him playing right now. Although he may not be 100% with that separated shoulder, here's what he provides. It's a call play, a quarterback draw out of the shotgun. And McCown lowers that left shoulder and gets everything he possibly can. He's courageous. He's a leader. His fiery personality gets the guys jacked up in the huddle. He's a little bit of an intangible that AM likes out there offensively. Big opening. And Dante gets about five yards before Harold Piercy dropped him. Uh-oh. Little flag here. Late stuff, Drew. Late pushing and shoving. Let's see if it's offsetting or if somebody lost their poise and retaliated. Sometimes you'll see the second guy retaliate. Other times the officials will call it offsetting, just trying to settle the thing down. Let's see if one team's going to be the benefactor here or if it's just going to be cool your heels, boys, and let's play football. Dead ball, personal foul on both teams. Penalty cancel, second down. And they are calling the offset. The referees, they just want to keep control of this football game. They don't want it to disintegrate and deteriorate. Both guys threw a late shot in the official's opinion. I'll tell you, the hardest thing in the world is when somebody takes a shot at you to keep your hands down to your side and not take a shot back at them. If you can do it, you can generate yards for your football team, but it's tough to do. Second down and six. Tombs and Hall in the eye. Dr. Hall will get to the 11-yard line. First down, Texas A&M. Perkins and Piercy in the secondary. Well, let's take a look at what Missouri tried to do here. They tried to bring Gibson late off the slot. Watch him. He had motioned inside, and he's going to blitz. But he's picked up very effectively by a and Nice lead block kicks him out. And inside, they just knock Missouri off the line of scrimmage, giving Hall a nice cutback lane. Excellent execution by the biggest offensive line R.C. Slocum's ever had here at a and Yep, they're just a uh, shade, a cupcake under 300 pounds a man. A biscuit, baby. Maybe half a cupcake. Dante Hall, not much. That was Al Sterling, 48, the middle backer. And you were talking about Randy McCown earlier and his fiery personality. Steve Cragthorpe, the offensive coordinator, long time. He's a coach's kid, and his dad was at... Uh, BYU right. when Jim McMahon was there. Yep. And he says that McCown is a lot like Jim McMahon. Well, they have that linebacker mentality at quarterback. You know, Jim Kelly, Jim McMahon, a lot of these quarterbacks that have that tough personality as an offensive lineman, you definitely respond to them. Quarterback draw again. And McCown will get to the six-yard line. It'll set up third down, and the Aggies will call a timeout here with 54 seconds to go in the first half. Trailing Missouri 7-3. This weekend on ER. Dr. Casey. A surprising turnaround. I'm going to die. You are not going to die. And the unexpected. We're very busy. Okay. okay. Sir. ER. Tonight at 1035 on Channel 11. Imagine someone steals your identity, goes on a summer-long joyride, then sticks you with the bills. He's approaching a half a million dollars. How easy is it, and could it happen to you? Find out from this man, The 11 News Defenders, Monday at 10. When you're looking for a Chevy Suburban, there's only one place to visit. Lawrence Marshall in Hempstead. Take the short trip down Highway 290 to Hempstead and see a Suburban inventory as big as Texas. And each Suburban has our low Marshall discount price every single day. So take it from Ray Childress. Lawrence Marshall and Hempstead is headquarters for the National Vehicle of Texas. Chevy Suburban. CBS Sunday. What's this? Things I've got to do before I die. A child's last wish. Help mom finish the song. Becomes a mother's greatest test. 
If I finish it, he'll die. He's in so much pain. Winona and Celine Dion on the extraordinary 100th episode of Touched by an Angel. Then, Annie Sullivan sacrificed her life to bring light to Helen Keller. I love you, Helen. Roma Downey and Myra Kelly, Monday After the Miracle, CBS Sunday. The Tigers leading the Aggies. The Aggies on the move. We check in with Jim Knox. Knoxie? Okay, thanks, Drew. Coming up at halftime, Dave Lappin, that's right, takes a look at some outstanding plays so far this year in the Big 12. We'll also look back at action in the Big 12 from last weekend. Look ahead from other Big 12 actions set for later this afternoon. Drew? All right, Jim. See, Jim's the happiest guy now in the stadium. It stopped raining. I'm telling you, the rain man is starting to dry out. Dustin Hoffman is no rain man. Our Jim Knox is the true rain man. He is awesome. Third and five for the Aggies. They need the one-yard line. And the flat to Hall. Now decision time for R.C. Do you go for it on fourth down or do you can put the points on the board? R.C. debating that right now. Do you, do you bring the lead down to only one point at the half? Or do you try to take a touchdown and go into that locker room with... A little bit of a lead. Well, McCown's backing up as if he's going to stay on the field. It's fourth down and three. And it looks now, like they're going to kick. They're going to kick it. Leckler's come into the game to hold. Now, we remind you that Shane Leckler, the holder and the punter, is a former quarterback, and he has thrown a touchdown right. out of a fake field goal this year. Possible fake here, but fourth and two. If this were fourth and a yard, fourth and a long two. I can see why you might want to put points on the board and get something out of this. For a fourth and a half a yard or a yard, it might change my thought process, but I can't debate RC wanting to get something out of this drive. But once again, watch the shovel pass, watch the fake. Because as you described, Drew, you got a, a quarterback, kicking, a former quarterback, kicking that football. Texas A&M confer on their respective sidelines. Let's take a look at the Big 12 standings in the North Division. Kansas State unbeaten. They have Nebraska. They haven't beaten Nebraska since 1968. They'll go later today. Missouri, they control their own destiny. If they win today and can beat Kansas State next week, they're going to the Big 12 championship game. Incredible. And in the South, Texas A&M, similar to Missouri, they control their own destiny. They need a win today, and of course, on the 27th of November, their annual tilt with the Longhorns, who are 5-1. and one. And The only two losses for Mac Brown's team this year, UCLA and Kansas State. And it happened early. And, and really, that's one of the, the best jobs of keeping your football team in the program, and then marked improvement over the stretch of the season. Mac Brown's done a great job. They'll kick for it, and Bynum knocks it through. He had to kind of draw it through, and that will be three points instead of seven. So it'll be 7-6 on the scoreboard. Missouri's lead cut to one, and a little smooching in the stands. That's one of the great things about coming to Texas A&M, Dave. I'm telling you, you know, if there's a lot of points on the board, you uh, you get engaged when the game's over. You're so familiar, you know. It's, it is a nice little tradition. Yeah, all of a sudden, the first date, next thing you know, at the end of the ball game, you're right. Right. You're making marriage plans. <laughs> that is Reed Arena, brand new Reed Arena, where they'll play basketball. And last night, game number one at Reed Arena, North Texas, the visitor, and Texas A&M rolled to a 20-plus point win as the Aggies started the season in their new palace. And speaking of new palaces, you can see in the background to the left, the cranes and the construction going on. They're improving this fine facility to the tune of $37 million. They'll end up seating more than 80,000 people when construction is done in time for next football season. I'm telling you, those luxury boxes are going to be so nice. Let me just check out what they charge me rent to live there year-round. I mean, it's got everything you want. It's plush. Well, I know it's nicer than your apartment back in Cincinnati. No, no doubt. Absolutely not. Except they don't have maid service there. No, but you can come out and run around the football field every day. You can't do this. 44 seconds left. They kick it on the ground. And one of the upbacks gets to play fullback. The 37-yard line. That was Josh O'Neill. No, check it. It was uh, David Weber. David Weber, who's listed as a center. And so he gets 
touched the ball a lot. Not that far in an experience for him. He's going to be talking about that one for a while. Yes. Corby Jones has had a good first half. He's been in the end zone, and they were 39 seconds left on a wet field. Do you, are you content with a one-point lead, or do you take some shots? I take some shots. They're at the 40-yard line. I mean, I, I get after a little bit. You, your, your Achilles heel, though, is you don't really have a kicker with long-range potential and accuracy. So you're going to take your shot. You're going to have to take your shot down the football field for big yards. But nice field position to start with. I don't think you have to cozy up. Well, Jones will take a shot. But had Lehman out there. Lehman had Cedric Curry beat. And he didn't get enough air under the ball. Exactly. Corby didn't give himself any margin for error. He put this ball too much on a rope. Obviously, Corby's got plenty of arm strength, but Lehman knows as he releases from the line of scrimmage, he's got a little bit of a zone defense. He's going to have to break, runs a beat, runs a double move. The ball just harmlessly, though, over his head. Lehman's saying, boy, a little grimace in the face there. He's, saying, he's thinking, boy, I had it. Had him there. Just get some more air, air under the ball. Let me run under it. Straight ahead, that's Devon Black, his first carry of the day. And it looks like now Missouri will be content to take the one-point lead to the locker room. Yeah, I think they wanted to try to go for the jugular one play, and it didn't work out. One thing you want to make sure as a quarterback, you don't underthrow it and it's intercepted. And Corby didn't underthrow it, but didn't put enough air under it. And now everybody's content to go, go into the locker room and make the adjustments. Well, at halftime, it's Missouri 7 and the Aggies 6. And what conditions at College Station? We're back in a moment. This simple-looking device is the key to discovering your hidden potential. It can change the look and shape of every line and curve on your body. Because it's the weight, the challenge, and the secret behind one of the most effective fitness machines in the world. Introducing the Bowflex Power Pro. Bowflex uses patented power rod resistance to give you an incredibly smooth, natural feel for over 60 different health club quality exercises. With features like a built-in aerobic rowing exercise, convertible grips, and convenient folding capabilities, it's easy to see why a Bowflex was selected by Fitness Magazine as the best home gym. It's time to get the results you want with no money down and payments as low as $33 a month. Call right now for your free video and brochure and discover the look you've always wanted with the Bowflex Power Pro. Most companies that make canopies for our nation's jet fighters look to this oil company for a critical component to make them bulletproof. When it really counts, they seem to be the one to count on. With that in mind, what kind of gasoline do you think they'd make for your car? You'd be right. Sitco, when it counts. You look pretty tonight. Thank you. Like a butterfly. Or a soft peach whose supple texture is honest and beautiful. And I think we pair well. Me too. But a soft peach, huh? <laughs> Gossamer Bay. The wine says a lot. Big 12 football is brought to you by Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Dr. Pepper, this is the taste. By Sitco. Depend on Sitco when it counts. And by Nations Bank, the official bank of the Big 12 Conference. 
field in College Station, Texas. The rain fortunately has subsided. We have a good football game. Missouri 7 and the Aggies of Texas 6. With Dave Lapham, I'm Drew Goodman. It's pretty much uh, been what we thought, a battle of field position. Battle of field position, two excellent defensive football teams. Missouri, could not, Missouri did take advantage of opportunities. Texas A&M didn't. And we put together quite a few big plays that we've seen during the course of an excellent Big 12 season so far. Sit back, kick your feet up, and enjoy. Let's start with some great runs this season. Iowa State's Darren Davis has field vision, has cutback ability. He will make you miss. Baylor's Derek Lagway. He'll run out of his T-shirt to score a touchdown against North Carolina State. Heisman hopeful Ricky Williams taking it to the house against Oklahoma in the Rip River Battle. Bishop, a running back at the quarterback position, running over people for every possible yard. Missouri's Corby Jones will tuck it and go, hurt you with his feet as well as his throwing arm. How about some catches this year? Darnell McDonald, great concentration on the football. Texas Tech's Donnie Hart, tremendous hands. Iowa State's Damian Gross, unbelievable body control. Major Applewhite over the top to Wayne McGarry. A school record, 97 yards against Oklahoma. How about some great defensive plays? Potential game-tying field goal blocked by Baylor as time runs out. That win, first possession against Kansas. Interception, short field for his offense. Steve Bratton out of Kansas with an individual goal line stand. Texas Tech's Monte Rager with another disruptive tackle for loss. Missouri's Steve Erickson, one of five defensive touchdowns scored by the Tigers this season. This one against Nebraska. In the last week, Missouri's Carlos Posey with his first interception of the year to go 61 yards for a touchdown against Colorado. Martin Gramatica, a 65-yard field goal, the longest since college football has gotten away from the kicking team. Not the least bit happy about it either. going to make the big play in this football game offensively or defensively. Dan Campbell couldn't capitalize in the first half. Let's see what happens in the second half, Drew. Now you talk about all the great plays we've seen this year. We'll probably see some more today. I don't think there's any question right now. The premier conference in college football, the Big 12. At halftime, Missouri 7 and the Aggies 6. We come here on a glorious quest to search for that which can be found nowhere else. Where, in the trenches where mighty men clash, amidst the echoes of glory's past, high atop Olympus, oh, this is our quest. This is what football is all about. I'm Maximum Protection, the authority for Napa Gold filters. Today's driving conditions are severe, with frequent stopping and road dirt. But I hold 45% more dirt than the leading national brand. And that's important, because I help your engine last longer. So put me to work and get the maximum protection of Napa Gold filters. Napa, over 200,000 parts, and everyone's important. Okay, now watch as I explain the new Money Manager account. Now, these are our investment beans. They're active beans. Caffeinated. Yeah. These are our checking account beans, which just kind of sit there. But the Money Manager account keeps more of our beans over here. Perking. Perking. And then brings them back only when needed to cover a check, which could mean... Higher overall bean return. Right. Would you make some more coffee? A nice demonstration. Rich people have more friends than the rest of us? Are they more deserving of a comfortable seat? Are they more entitled to brake safely on a rainy day? Are we the only car company that doesn't think so? Century by Buick. Full of amenities for under 20,000. Loaded for under 24. Century by Buick. A luxury car for everyone. This year, Big 12 athletes are lining up. Not only on the field of play, but to support another group of athletes, Special Olympians. 
Each year, athletes, coaches, and administrators from across the conference participate in a variety of Special Olympic activities, from tennis to swimming to track and field. The Big 12 Conference and Special Olympics have formed a winning partnership. Some sports are better for the heart. Special Olympics and the Big 12 Conference, a partnership for life. at Kyle Field in College Station. It is halftime in Missouri pulling off the upset with the one-point edge over Texas A&M. And hello again, everyone. Jim Knox welcoming you back to a very rainy College Station. Well, a couple of close finishes with one last-second ricochet field goal and two long-distance returns. Bill Ann has more in this week's Big 12 Conference Cuts. Thanks, Jim. Later on this afternoon here at Kansas State University, the Wildcats try to continue to write football history as they take on Nebraska. Kansas State has not beaten Nebraska since 1968. It has been a tremendous year for Big 12 football. Five teams are currently ranked in the top 20, and last weekend all five were victorious. Here's a look at some of the highlights on our conference cuts. the anticipation of a field goal. The crossbar stands 10 feet from the ground, and even though Texas A&M's Russell Bynum could have cleared this 47-yarder with a 15-foot high crossbar, there were some other Big 12 kickers who were testing the limits of 23 feet, 4 inches between uprights. Missouri's Brian Long was 36 yards out, but also had a 10-0 lead in the first quarter when he clanked this kick through against Colorado. Texas kicker Chris Stockton may have been five yards closer than Long, but his team was tied with just seconds remaining in the game. Oklahoma State tried to ice him with three consecutive timeouts, and it almost worked. But the ricochet goes backwards instead of forward, and Stockton is a game-winning hero. The Big 12 got its first snow game of the year. Ames beat Boulder to the punch Saturday. Joe Walker kept the action hot on the field. The Husker DB returns this interception for a touchdown. He's now just the fifth player in NCAA history to return a punt, kickoff, and an interception for a TD in one season. We're just getting warmed up. There were more big returns against Baylor on Saturday. K-State's David Allen returned to his fourth punt for a touchdown this season, tying an NCAA record. He now has five punt returns for touchdowns in his career, extending his own Big 12 record. Maybe bigger things are still to come from the Aggies' Jason Webster. He goes 55 yards for a touchdown against OU with his very first collegiate punt return. People may be still holding their breath for Ricky Williams, but up in Columbia, Devin West has Tiger fans breathing easier about his record chase. West broke the Mizzou single-season rushing record of 1,312 yards that had stood since 1969 and the single-season TD record of 17, which had held since 1942. That's a two-cannon salute to West as we saw off another edition of Cuts. Next week, Big 12 Showcase goes to Stillwater, Oklahoma, home of the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Among other things, we'll preview Oklahoma State's game with the Baylor Bears. Let's go back now to Jim Knox in College Station. Thank you, Bill. Don't forget to join Bill Land at Big 12 Showcase each and every week. Check your local listings. Up next, we'll check the rest of the Big 12 schedule set for later today. Cheap payments. At Jim Archer's Used Car Supercenter, I-45 North at Gulf Bank, $4.99 down gets you cheap payments. A 95 Toyota Celica GT and 96 Pontiac Grand Am, both $4.99 down, only $1.69 a month. Or how about these? A beautiful 95 Chevy Silverado Extended Cab and a 98 Dodge Caravan, only $2.29 a month with $4.99 down. So call us today, 281-448-7660 for your cheap payments. Bridalwood Estate, a lifestyle you will love. A restricted acreage home site community with beautiful lakes, parks, and nature trails. Bridalwood Estates. If you're considering plastic surgery, call the Wexler Clinic. Our doctors specialize in cosmetic surgery for the new millennium. Call 713-526-6600 for information. Most men think that it makes more sense to rent a tuxedo than to buy one. After all, how many times can you use a tux? The fact is, more times than you think. Our tuxedos are 100% wool, fitted to you perfectly, and cost as little as a few rentals. 
But the best part of owning is, you know exactly who it was who wore it last. The Men's Warehouse. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. 1-800-776-SUIT. Hey, you need it. Come on in. Company coming for the holidays. Better call Finger. Don't be caught off guard this year. Now during Finger's holiday sales, save on everything you need to get ready for the holidays. Everything's on sale. Every dining room, every living room, every bedroom, and more. All at our lowest sale prices of the year. Plus, special holiday express delivery. And you can take up to 50 months to pay. Our lowest sale prices of the year are at your fingers. Mike Hall has it all. Houston, if you're looking for a great deal on a new Chevrolet, Mike Hall has it all. Chevy Byers, if you want to be treated like an individual, not a dollar sign. Mike Hall has it all. Conveniently located on Highway 6 at Beechnut. Come to Mike Hall Chevrolet. Mike Hall has it all. Coming to a close at Kyle Field in College Station, A&M trailing Missouri by one. Number of huge matchups set for later this afternoon in the Big 12. As we take a look at the menu, just about underway, Oklahoma on the road against Baylor, as well as Iowa State against Colorado later this afternoon. Non-conference play, Oklahoma State at home against Southwest Louisiana. Then the big one, Nebraska against Kansas State. Then this evening in Lubbock, it's Texas Tech against Texas. And with more on this game, let's head to Lubbock and join Ron Thulin. Thank you very much, Jim Knox. You know, this can be a very historic day at Jones Stadium in Lubbock, Texas, as Texas's Ricky Williams just 204 yards away from breaking Tony Dorsett's all-time career rushing mark. And as you might expect, he has earned the respect of both coaches. Well, yeah, Ricky Williams is a great player, and he's a guy we've all got great respect for. And, uh, you know, if he gets the record, he gets the record. I, I don't think, I think the object of this game is to try to beat Texas. Number one, he's a great football player, not a good football player. And he'll go down, whether he gets 204 more yards or not, as one of the best running backs to ever play the game of college football. Ricky Williams is obviously a big story, but an even bigger story for the teams. Texas Tech needs a win to keep their South Division hopes alive. And pending the outcome of your game, the University of Texas would like to stay one game behind A&M, setting up their showdown on November the 27th. Jim? Thanks, Ron. That will be an outstanding matchup. Texas against Texas Tech. Hey, we have an outstanding matchup right here at College Station. Texas A&M trailing Missouri by one. Back right after this. Would you like to lower your monthly payments? Then you'll want to hear this. Now you can save money every month with the new Ultimate 125 Refi. Refinance. Consolidate bills. And improve your home all in one loan no equity required find out how much you can save each month call first plus at 1-800-510 plus find the one that's unlike any other, that's when it's love. That's when it's Dr. Pepper. Delta, British Airways, Northwest, KLM, United. All of these, in fact, most of the world's major airlines, domestic and international, rely on this oil company for fuel. When it really counts, they seem to be the one to count on. With that in mind, what kind of gasoline do you think they'd make for your car? You'd be right. Citgo, when it counts. If your sports team needs equipment, you need to call this number. Hi, I'm Giff Nielsen. This is the Spirit of Texas Fiesta Super Sports Club Hotline. It's an easy way to raise money for your team or organization. Sign up your group today, and before you know it, you'll be turning old grocery labels into new uniforms and equipment. Make your team a winner. Let Channel 11 and Fiesta help you get the equipment and uniforms you need. Call this number and join the Spirit of Texas Fiesta Super Sports Club today.
truck is here. Introducing the new Silverado. It's bigger. It's more powerful. It's the truck from Chevrolet. Time, Missouri leading Texas A&M in College Station, seven to six. Back with Dave Lapham. I'm Drew Goodman upstairs. And you know, when you look on paper at these two schools, you said not much separates them. Two good running games, two outstanding defenses, and one point at halftime. The separation. Really, this is the type of football game we thought we would have: defensive excellence and running the football, playing field position game a little bit. Corby Jones, that turf toe, not a problem anymore, as we saw last week and this week. He's following up with another excellent effort on the ground. Very little press to digitation on the goal line and nice block by Ford on the perimeter. And Corby Jones gets the only touchdown of the half. Dante Hall, the leading ball carrier, leading ground gainer for Texas A&M. They have creased Missouri a little bit, giving him some room to run. Well, you always talk about turnovers in big games like this. There's only been one. That really hasn't been a factor. No, it hasn't been a factor. But Campbell's missed touchdown reception equal to a turnover. Took points off the board. We'll come back, get it up in the air for the third quarter right after this. Most companies that run nation's jet fighters look to this oil company for a critical component to make them bulletproof. When it really counts, they seem to be the one to count on. With that in mind, what kind of gasoline do you think they'd make for your car? You'd be right. Sitco, when it counts. Absolutely fine, thank you. Are you lost? Grazie. Uh, where is Cafe Verita? It's right there. Ah. <laughs> hey, please, you join me. Is this Italian? The best. <laughs> Echo de Moni, what does that mean? Yeah, you, oh. Not a clue. <laughs> Echo de Moni, it means Italian. Looking good, Cordell. Haven't missed one yet. Deadly long-range passing, linebackers without conscience, NFL blitz. It's a wretched assault on the sense of fair play. Good. No refs, no rules, no mercy. Missouri to help build a better football program. What Missouri did was help build a better me. Big 12 football is brought to you by Red Rufus. Nice people and an honest value. By Sitco. Depend on Sitco when it counts. And by Gossamer Bay. The wine says a lot. Overcast day in College Station, Texas. At halftime, the Aggies, sixth rank, trail by a point to the Missouri Tigers, who come in number 13 in the country. 31's Ricardo Rhodes. Back deep along with Julian Jones. Leckler's kick. Caught by Jones about seven yards deep in the end zone. Let's take a look at the first half numbers brought to you by Sitco. Well, pretty even, Steven, for the most part. You look at total yards, not that much of a differential. The one turnover didn't turn out to be a factor. 
AM controlled the football. They ran nine more plays, had a four and a half minute time of possession advantage, but Missouri has the lead because they converted a touchdown. Corby Jones finalized. Dan Campbell on the flip side for AM could not. So far, that's the difference in the game. Corby Jones, the quarterback, the tailback, Devin West, the fullback, Sean Benton. And Devin West, straight ahead, actually trips over Todd Niemeyer, his right tackle, and gets a couple of yards. Devin West able to do some work between the tackles in that first half. Well, he had 12 lugs, averaged over five yards per opportunity, he had 62 yards rushing, and uh, he, he was a real factor in that, uh, in that first half. The other thing about the first half, only one penalty. Missouri was not penalized. Texas A&M had one penalty for 10 yards, so two good football teams not shooting themselves in the foot. That's been well played. Jones keeps on the option. And he got about three or four to the 26-yard line. Cornelius Anthony, inside linebacker, who plays next to Dat Wynn, will get credit for the tackle. It'll be third down. And Let's take a look at Jones and McCowan, how they compare today. And actually, McCowan's thrown it more times than Jones. Yeah, he, he really has, but here's the, here's the productivity difference right there. Jones with the big play so far of this football game, and that is Pearson the goal line, scoring a touchdown. Third and four. They've been a great third down team all year, Missouri. Here's the option. Jones wrapped up by the All-American Dan Wynn. Well, he is the man, Dan Wynn. A bunch of tackles for loss. I think 45 in his career. Make that 46 or something. And he understands. He has his key sheet. He knows on third and five or less, the option is a consideration. Flows over the top. Heinberger can't catch him. The thing about Dad Wynn, he's got tremendous quickness. Couple that with early anticipation. You have to take different angles. Flatten your angles to get to him. Dad Wynn outruns Heinberger and tackles Corby Jones for a loss. Huge play by the... He's an amazing player. Led them in tackles four straight years. Nearly a high snap. Sebo goes down and gets it. Line drive kick. And Taylor has it. Try to get to the wall. And he'll tumble across the 45. So very good field position for the Aggies when we come back. When you're looking for a Chevy Suburban, there's only one place to visit. Lawrence Marshall in Hempstead. Take the short trip down Highway 290 to Hempstead and see a Suburban inventory as big as Texas. And each Suburban has our low Marshall discount price every single day. So take it from Ray Childress. Lawrence Marshall and Hempstead is headquarters for the National Vehicle of Texas. Chevy Suburban. Bridalwood Estate, a lifestyle you will love. A restricted acreage home site community with beautiful lakes, parks, and nature trails. Bridalwood Estates. If you're considering plastic surgery, call the Wexler Clinic. Our doctors specialize in cosmetic surgery for the new millennium. Call 713-526-6600 for information. The, the Tomball Tom Bunch. Tomball Ford. Parkway Chevrolet. Jimmy Copeland, Chrysler Plymouth Jeep. Here at Parkway Chevrolet, we've got great stock, great value. 99 towels, $340 a month. Tomball Ford continues to be the truck capital of Texas. At Tomball Ford, we're receiving the new 1999 Super Duties by the truckload. Always the best price at Jimmy Copeland, Chrysler Plymouth Jeep. And Jeeps, come see Papa and trade with yeah. us. Come see Papa. The Tomball Tom Bunch. That win closing in on 500 career tackles at Texas A&M. That's a career, baby. That, that is remarkable. I mean, there's no other way to describe it other than just as a remarkable performance by one heck of a football player and one heck of a kid. You know what? Team all state as a putter in high school. Yeah, he was a good hoop man, too. He could yeah. hoop it a little bit. The accolades for linebacker were not uh, what they were as a punter. McCown looking deep. And is in 
incomplete to Cole. Trying to readjust in front of Wade Perkins, and he nearly had it. Boy, Cole did find the football first and did get himself in position to make a play on it, but what an effort by Perkins to knock it out of his possession. Perkins out of his back pedal gets turned around a little bit. Cole comes inside of Perkins. Perkins just gets the hand up there enough. And a nice little kiss after the play by Piercy just to let him know that I'm in the vicinity as well. Big 12 defensive player of the week. Wade Perkins leads the nation in picks with six. Second and ten. Dante Hall. And Dante crosses midfield to the plus 48-yard line. Jeff Marriott will get credit for the tackle. Dante Hall in the first half, 55 yards rushing. So West and Hall were both pacing for the century mark. Both teams able to get their primary lugger of the football off and going a little bit. Yeah, Dante Hall at the start of the year had a back injury, a calf injury, and really had a slow start. But the last four or five weeks, he's come on, and he's not too far from gathering in 1,000 yards. Came in with 819. Third down and three. McCown underneath. And incomplete. Dan Campbell, the intended target. And it'll be fourth down. Boy, and Dan with the second drop of the day. Two catchable footballs, and Dan probably is beside himself. He just can't believe it. That football is a tougher catch, a little bit tougher catch, but he should have made the play. And here early in the first half, as McCown evades pressure, soft catchable football. Dan Campbell looks like he almost reversed his hands and made it a tougher catch than it should have been. He was concentrating on it, almost had his face mask on the tip of the football when it arrived to his body. Randy Potter back at the 10. Leckler. A good punt. Would have been a great punt if he could have deadened it around the five. He got it up in the air, but the Aggies couldn't get there in time. They'll bring it out to the 20. 7 6, Missouri. Delta, British Airways, Northwest, KLM, United. All of these, in fact, most of the world's major airlines, domestic and international, rely on this oil company for fuel. When it really counts, they seem to be the one to count on. With that in mind, what kind of gasoline do you think they'd make for your car? You'd be right. Sitco, when it counts. Happy birthday. Oh, good, another apple. Where's Danny? people your monthly bills outweigh your paycheck but if you own your own home first plus can help tip the scales back in your favor it's the first plus solution one unique home loan that lets you refinance and consolidate your bills credit cards and mortgage all into one payment that's less than what you're paying now and it's available even if you don't have equity put some balance back into your budget with the first plus solution call first plus at 1-800-510 plus yards and a first down of the 31 yard line well when Corby Jones vacates the pocket seems like 40% oh, of the time they get him out of pocket give him a two-way go run pass option West clears the linebacker when Corby sees that the linebacker is going to blitz he just dumps the ball off to West you get it between a rock and a hard place as an outside linebacker you cover the back Corby tucks it and runs you get after Corby he dumps it off like he did it's a two-way go To the 35 yard line. Ron Edwards, Royland Bradley will get up last for the wrecking crew defense. 
Number three in the country in total defense. Dave, in the 90s, four times, R.C. Slocum's defense has finished in the top five in the country. Boy, they're athletic. They run. So I think as a result of that, Drew, Missouri's decided we're going to close you up and run between the tackles to anchor your ability a little bit. If you have tremendous athletes, run right at them and make them make plays in the power game. Top nine in the four major categories this year. Here's an option pass. Layman out there. It's intercepted downfield by Brandon Jennings. He's got some blockers now. Second turnover in the game by Missouri, and the Aggies are in great shape. In all two turnovers, both turnovers, there's a penalty flag. Let's see what the flag's about. Looks like there may be a flag on AM. There's a penalty that's being discussed. Corby fumbled the football without any contact. Corby Jones excited that penalty against AM by his interception. He underthrew the football very, very badly and, and threw off his back foot, never transferred his weight, holding against AM. That's gonna what a what a boy, what a huge play that is. That is enormous. That takes away the turnover. Boy, Jennings uh, potential damaging takeaway nullified. Dat Win trying to get an explanation. I think he might be asking who's it on? Trying to find out who the defensive hold is on. You talk about a momentum changer. Holding on the defense. It was on an eligible receiver. Be a 10-yard penalty from the previous spot and an automatic first down. Well, it should be on, on an eligible receiver uh, since it was a pass play. But Corby Jones, they give the option look. As he goes down the line of scrimmage, he will drop back behind the tackle box to throw the football off his back foot, falling away from the line of scrimmage, and underthrows it. Interception made in a very fine fashion by Jennings, but all for naught. Defensive holding. It was called at the linebacker level, more than five yards downfield. Remember that play. The Jennings pick is wiped out. Not much for Devin West, and it looks like the Aggie defense is agitated. Rocky Bernard, the 270-pound sophomore from Baytown, Texas, ended that play in a hurry. Well, he sure did, and, and one of the big keys for the Texas A&M defensive football team are these young sophomore linemen that have played at a much higher level than the coaching staff anticipated. They're not the biggest in the world, but they will move. They slant them. They make. They hit gaps with them, and they make it disruptive up front. Here's a boot. Jones wants to run. Roy, that's great defense. Royland Bradley not fooled. Royland Bradley kept his outside eye on Corby Jones's outside shoulder. Tremendous contain. That's what we talked about with Texas A&M's athletic ability and their movement skills. Not fooled at all. It's just a tremendous effort. Corby Jones tries to cut it back up inside. And right there, you see Bradley able to redirect himself as easily as Corby did. Nice effort. There you see the speed of the linebackers. Third and ten, here comes the twelfth man. Jones throw complete. Raymond held on. Boy, did he take a lick. Rich Cody set him into astronomy class, but Raymond held on. Just over the fingertips of Michael Jamison and in front of Cody. And Lehman finds the seam of the zone. Corby Jones throws the ball very, very well, just over Jamison. And then Lehman concentrates and catches after contact. Tremendous effort, boy. Threading the needle right there is Corby Jones. Best throw of the game by Corby Jones. Ball at the plus 36. Jones trying to check off. I don't think he can hear. And I think AM called timeout. So Texas A&M calls the timeout. 8.50 to go in the third. Still 7-6 Mizzou.
Do you have trouble driving in the rain? Is the glare unbearable at night? That's why STP created Vision Blade Glass Treatment. Vision Blade forms an invisible barrier that repels water and virtually eliminates glare. It applies in minutes and it lasts for six months. This muddy water sticks to the glass on the untreated side. But with Vision Blade, the dirt and grime sheets away and your view remains clear. And now Vision Blade is available in two sizes to meet all drivers' needs. See what you've been missing with Vision Blade. I hold in my hand proof that we are finally getting our financial act together. <laughs> this is our monthly statement from our new money manager account. It's a way to make uh, our investments and our bank account work together automatically to help us earn more. Really? How much more? I'm not telling. <laughs> She's so silly. Well, I tell you stuff. Missouri leading 7-6, their last win against a top-10 team. You have to go all the way back to 1981. And coming in number 13, their highest ranking since 1981 when they reached number 8. They have it first and 10 at the 36 of the Aggies. Devin West on the power play. And he'll get three yards to the 33-yard line. Let's check the keys to victory again for Missouri and see the report card. Well, they didn't score first, but they scored the first touchdown, seven points. So I'm going to, that's a check. That didn't hurt them at all. Avoid three and outs, that's a big plus. Only one time it's happened. Kicking game has not been a problem. That's, an even, that's why they've got the lead. This touchdown right there, even though they didn't score first, they put the first touchdown on the board. And so far, that's been a big factor in this football game. Second and six for Missouri. Devin West again. Avoids the penetration and gets to the 29-yard line. Warwick Holdman shot the gap initially. You avoided him. Let's check uh, the Aggies. We'll talk about the three T's. They've got a plus one, but they didn't do anything with it, so that's a nothing. Two for six on third down. They've got Missouri at 33%. They're almost 50%. That's a plus. Time of possession is a plus, but it's only a one-point game, so they're, they're executing their keys fairly well, too. The big thing, though, not taking advantage of opportunities. Campbell, touchdown pass drop, and, of course, the big penalty that nullified another takeaway huge so far early in the second half. And on third and three, Corby Jones looked across at the defense, and his pre-snap read told him, I better go talk to coach. <laughs> Seven thirty-two to go in the third. Well, the Tigers would like to forget their last visit here five years ago because the Aggies' offense went wild and their defense was impenetrable. Leland McRoy rushed for 136 yards, got in the end zone three times. Also, his buddy Rodney Thompson, Thomas, excuse me, found the end zone three times. And the ball just round, bounced right the whole day for the Aggies, 73 to nothing. You know, this is the fourth meeting, and three have been Aggie shutouts. The Tigers have never beaten Texas a &M. Yeah, and I was there. I, I did that football game, that 73 nothing football game, and there was a lot of kissing going on in the stands there. I'm telling you, the cadets were going nuts. For, if you had a first date, and you took it that 73 nothing game first date, you got to know her quickly. <laughs> Well, milestones the last couple of years for Larry Smith in Missouri. First winning season and bowl appearance since 83. They went to the Holiday Bowl last year. First ranking, 7-2. and two. And now, having won 11 of their last 14, right. they have back-to-back 7-plus -back win seasons. And, and really, the three losses, two of them against number one teams. Ohio State was number one, Nebraska number one. And then the second time they lost to Nebraska, they were ranked number seven. So things have turned around very, very nicely for this Tiger football team. Here's one of those big plays you talk about when you have two evenly matched teams. Third and three. Devin West, first down and more. Inside the 20 to the 17. Looked like a straight dive. It was nothing fancy. And what do you do? I'll tell you what, you cozy up a time behind Big Heimberger, who had about a dozen cheeseburgers, I think, for pregame meal. Look at the big fella. Knock him off the line of scrimmage. Woo! That's Pancake City. That's a flapjack stack right there. You got to throw tons of syrup on that one. But Jake Stuvey had a great block. Turned his man outside. Man, Craig Heimberger rolling him off the line of scrimmage. That's a 
stud. West a single setback. Jones waggle. Yeah. And it is dropped. Ball hit the turf. Brandon Ford, who got in the end zone last week against Colorado, couldn't hold on. Once again, Corby Jones out of pocket with the run pass option. Puts a lot of pressure on the outside linebackers. Ford blocking and then releases. And just can't control the football. Catchable football. Ford knows that when those opportunities present themselves, he has to make the play. Second and ten for the Tigers. Devin West lowers his pads, gets to the 13. Once again, what do you do? Run behind Heimberger and Reedy. Doing a nice job in the middle. Missouri's power game is exactly that today. Powerful. And I'll tell you what, big old Heimberger. He's got a low center of gravity, 6'3", 313 pounds, and he just loves to smack you. It's getting really loud. 6.30 to go in the third. 7-6 Missouri, third down and six. Jones. He won't get there. Royland Bradley got him, number 40. Stopped at the nine. Two and a half yards shy of a first down. If Corby's limping. Corby gets up limping badly. He's limping on the right foot. And it, as he works his way to the sideline, a definite hitch in the old get-along. And as a result of, I think, Larry Smith seeing that his quarterback is such a limp in his gait, he doesn't even think about going for it on fourth down. He sends the field goal unit right on the field. The decision became easy when he saw Courtney get up and not be able to walk well. This is Brian Long. 26 yards away. Wow. Okay, that close. The snap was high, and the timing was off after that point, and he just, he hit the middle of the football. Corby, it's more than turf toe, I think. It's something something else that's bothering him. It looks like on that right side, although he's trying to get off that left foot quick. Let's see how high the snap is. The snap is up there, throws the kicker off just that little bit. His plant foot slides a little bit, and he knew immediately when Long made contact, he knew he was wide. Hit, didn't hit, he hit halfway up the football. Not a very pretty sight coming off his foot immediately, and that's why Larry Smith is just scratching his head with the kicking game. The Texas A&M takes over at the 20. Dante Hall spins for seven yards. If you followed Missouri this year, you know they've had all kinds of problems in their kicking game. Injuries and some young players in there. They've used uh, four different kickers this year. They're just two of four in the field goal department all year. Ten games in, that's almost unheard of. Really, in that particular field goal, a little bit more than a chip shot variety and not even close to being executed. That's got to give Larry Smith just a sick feeling. Especially when you consider that these two teams are about a field goal. That's all. Dante Hall runs into Justin Smith. The true freshman from Jefferson City, Missouri. It'll be third down. Let's take a look at the run that Corby Jones had when he got up limping. Heimberger in the backside gets tripped. You see 57 falling down. Corby, as he takes it up the football field, tries to plant and make a cut. Right there, he, he you see that he really bent that right toe. Looked like it was his right foot. He bent pretty severely. They're working on the right ankle. And they're working on his left knee. Jeez, I mean, he's... He's got problems on every body part. It's amazing. He got his legs tangled up and really took a shot. Third and one. Two. No. He didn't get there. No. He didn't get to the line of scrimmage. I mean, there were 22 bodies within about a foot of each other. Man, the defensive line for Missouri stacked it up. Whenever you have a goal line short yardage play, the down linemen have to root hog, get underneath the offensive linemen, and then let the linebackers make plays over the top. And Missouri did a great job of root hogging right there. And that's a great defensive stand. You know, a field goal, a chip shot field goal is missed. Instead of putting your chin on your chest, you rally, and you make a big play, and you get off the field in three snaps. 
Let's see what Corby's like if, in fact, he's able to go when Missouri takes this football offensively. Well, Ryan Douglas, the backup quarterback, has a broken hand. Randy Potter lets it bounce and lets it get past him. Stay. Oh, man, what a break for Leckler and the Aggies. This turns into an enormous punt. 69 yards. Boy, you got to catch that football. If that football hits the turf, normally it costs you 15 yards of field position. And the coaching staff all over the mistake that's being made by Randy Potter as he comes to the sideline. Leckler just drills the thing. Potter decides to let it go. And as a result, he loses at least, I mean, he loses 25 yards of field position by not trying to field that football. And in the game of field position that we talked about being so critical, look at the negative field position Missouri is suffering from that. Jones is in at quarterback. From the two, they give to Devin West. A little bit of breathing room to the five. And let's check in with Jim Knox. Jim? Drew, Corby's going to be okay. They were not looking at the toe. They were looking at his knee. They said he twisted it just a bit, but the, he will be okay. So Corby, needless to say, back in, ready to go. Well, yeah, I, I saw him looking at the right ankle and the left knee. They were looking at everything on Corby. Well, one thing, in addition to being a great student and a great player, you know this kid is as tough as they come. Yep. Devin West. And here comes the wrecking crew defense. Ronald Flemons, 99, wrapped him up. And one thing that this negative field position does is it limits your game plan. You know, you don't want to throw the football here. If you can avoid it, you don't want to turn it over. So what you have to do is just try to run the football out of the shadow of your own end zone. And AM knows that. They're fully aware that they're stacking the line of scrimmage. This field position just kills your play selection. Huge. They need the 12. Slant. And the ball comes out complete. And Lehman remains on the turf. Jason Webster with the tight coverage. Boy, did he time that hit. Lehman limps off the football field after the contact provided by Webster. Knowing that he has to get to the 12-yard line, he hooks up at about the 11. And Webster arrives simultaneously with the football and knocks it out of there. Great play. Now you ask your punter, Vince Sebo, to really launch one from nine yards deep in the end zone. Chris Taylor and Jason Webster, twin safeties at about the 43-yard line of Missouri. Pressure on the snapper also. And Sebo kicks a high punt, not that deep. And did he touch an Aggie? No. And, uh, Missouri thinks so, but the officials say he didn't touch an Aggie. First and 10 Aggies with a short field goal. They only have to negotiate 44 yards of real estate for the potential go-ahead touchdown. Let's see if it touched a Texas A&M Aggie. There's three in the vicinity. Oh, boy, they're lucky that it didn't, though. It very easily could have because Jennings never saw the football. The only one that saw the football was Chris Taylor. He's going to yell poison. Let his teammates know the ball's in the vicinity so they can be more aware. Somebody almost had poison ivy because yeah. that was close. Dante Hall. Nine yards to the 35-yard line. He has been the workhorse today for the Aggies. He's done a great job. The junior from... Nimitz High School in Houston. And I think that uh, Texas A&M's offensive line has done a nice job between the tackles as well. Dante Hall has hit it at the point of attack. Dante Hall has cut it back to the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. A&M's offensive line coming off the ball very, very well on, on the front side and back side. Here's Hall again on the toss. He's going to lose the bunch. Defeating the block and making the play is 79, Terrell Jereniak. Jereniak did a great job. And another guy that did a good job, Odom, came across the line of scrimmage and met the fullback in the backfield. And when Odom did that right there, Odom makes Hall bounce it. And when Hall bounced it, 
All the defensive players had the angle of pursuit. That play was supposed to be an iso between the guard and the tackle. Because of Odom blowing it up, it bounced outside the tight end and made it easy for Jerniak. Third and four now with 30 ticks left in the third quarter. Spiller in motion. Football field. McGowan out of pocket a little bit, takes a hit from Jereniak. With his own defense. Corner lets him go. No safety over the top. Easter says, Oh my gosh, that's me. Gets back, just makes enough of an arm tackle. Boy, Baumgartner, I thought he might have been able to avoid that minimal contact to the end zone, but Easter got enough of him. That's the end of the third quarter. You got to feel good for Bumgardner. He's fought a number of injuries in his career at College Station. Makes a big play there. 7 6 Missouri. Aggies getting close. What's the chore that homeowners find hardest to do? That's right, it's saving money. But now, First Plus has made saving money easier. It's called the First Plus Solution. One unique home loan that lets you refinance and consolidate your bills, credit cards, and mortgage all into one payment that's less than you're paying right now. And it's available even if you don't have equity. Hey, we can't help you with all your chores, but we can help you with one. Saving money. Call First Plus at 1-800-510-PLUS. You look pretty tonight. Thank you. Like a butterfly. Or a soft peach whose supple texture is honest and beautiful. And I think we pair well. Me too. But a soft peach, huh? <laughs> Gossamer Bay. The wine says a lot. Arms looking good, Cordell. Haven't missed one yet. Linebackers without conscience. NFL Blitz. It's a wretched assault on the sense of fair play. Good. No refs, no rules, no mercy. This year, Big 12 athletes are lining up. Not only on the field of play, but to support another group of athletes, Special Olympians. Each year, athletes, coaches, and administrators from across the conference participate in a variety of Special Olympic activities, from tennis to swimming to track and field. The Big 12 Conference and Special Olympics have formed a winning partnership. Some sports are better for the heart. Special Olympics and the Big 12 Conference, a partnership for life. You talk about tradition, you talk about pageantry. They got it all here in College Station, Texas. I'm telling you, look, it's colorful, it's exciting, it's college football at its finest. Now, did Easter make a touchdown saving tackle? Remember, Missouri just missed a field goal. If this is limited to nothing but a field goal opportunity, Missouri's missed field goal comes up larger yet. First and 10 from the plus 11, Dante Hall. <laughs> Broke one tackle, Sterling hit him, and then a couple of his friends arrived, and it's about a yard gain. It'll be second and nine. Of course, they can get a first down inside the one-yard line without scoring. 7-6, Missouri, Drew Goodman, Dave Lapham, Jim Knox. As we begin the fourth quarter in College Station, the Aggies 9-1, ranked number six. Missouri 7-2, ranked number 13. Slocum wanted to start McCown if he possibly could. 
Look at him. He rolls to the right, sees nothing happening, finds the lane. The Red Sea parts for him, picks up a blocker, cuts back. Excellent run, great vision. McCown, boy, you're strong safety. You're free safety. You had to make a play. That's what it looked like. And now you're looking at first and goal for AM inside the one yard line, courtesy of about a 10 yard scramble by that man. You know what? Enthusiastic McCown. Pat and Robin McCown, who drive around in a maroon van, they just keep producing quarterbacks. Randy, the quarterback <laughs> at Texas AM. Josh, who's a quarterback at SMU, and Luke, who well, they always say the youngest always got to be better than the older brothers, right? He's a quarterback at Jacksonville High School. Amazing. McCown, touchdown, Aggies. the officials I'm not excessively celebrating take it easy on me and yeah I would think that AM at this junction would go for two why not the score would dictate to do so you're up five the field goal doesn't do you any harm if you convert the two it's a touchdown or an extra point for Missouri in order to tie you if you don't a field goal doesn't do Missouri any good anyway they still have to score a touchdown it dictates two point conversion opportunity It's 86, Hodge. Leroy Hodge with the conversion. And the Aggies' lead is seven. abuses it, picks up blockers, cuts back, takes it inside the one-yard line. The coaching staff said, I'm going to reward him. Watch Toombs. He follows the big fella into the end zone. Two-point conversion. McCown Hodge in the slot, runs a slant. McCown delivers the ball right between the eights. Big drive by McCown and company. AM touchdown lead. Now Corby Jones in Missouri need to answer lynched by Missouri. That's going to cost them five. The crowd noise becoming a factor. Lynch up front. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Near five yards. Jonathan remain. First down. Yeah, Dave, one of the things that Jerry Burnt wanted to do today, we'll take a look at the movement. Yeah, the movement is, is right here. Watch, watch the big tackle right here. Flinch. It was the tight end. I'm sorry, it was on the outside right here. The tight end flinched. Now, he can go in motion as long as he's going backwards. The tight end cannot flinch to, si to simulate the start of a play, and that's what the, uh, the officials felt happen. Jones, no way to run. He's going to go the other way. Talk about making something out of nothing. Corby Jones came right, said, I don't like Get in this neighborhood. I'm going to find a new subdivision. And he outran Bradley. And Bradley, just enough of a block on Bradley to let Corby Jones reverse field. Option to the right. You talk about spontaneous. Just enough of Bradley is picked up right there. All he can get is a handful of jersey. The man that saved the play was Reedy. The center off the ground jumps up. Gets just a piece of Bradley where he can't get a hit on Corby. All he gets is a handful of jersey and Corby runs right through that. See Corby's numbers today. Second and one. He got 14 on that scramble. Devin West will have the first down of the 44. I was mentioning a moment ago, Jerry Burnt, the offensive coordinator for Missouri, felt that they needed to have a little bit of balance today as they did last week against Colorado. Have they had enough balance, Dave? Well, I, I'm sure he's probably not quite happy with the balance. On first down, he wanted to throw the football 40% of the time. And in terms of yards, in terms of productivity, I think he wanted to have more balance than they've got at this point in time. Last, last week, Corby rushed for over 100 and threw for over 150 himself. Decent balance there. Dawsman goes to the top on first and 10. Option pass. Now Jones will run. 
And a good reaction there by the Aggies. Short game. We check in again with Jim Knox. Knoxie. Okay, Drew, as you see, Randy McCown, they're working on his shoulder. A little concerned down here on the sidelines. Now, Randy did step behind the bench, threw a couple of passes. He said he's okay. Right now, they're right now back working on the shoulder, though. Well, shoulder separation, it's the AC joint where the clavicle attaches to the shoulder, and that's where he had a separation. His first, second, third degree, he had a second degree. So he had a little bit of a clicking in that shoulder with a swirl motion earlier in the week, but I'll tell you what, this kid's all courage, no question about that. Second and seven for the Tigers. Devin West, with that carry, he's over 100 yards on the day to midfield. It'll set up third down and about four. Just Devin West, 10th time in his career, over 100 yards. That's a school record. Just a marvelous season for that young man. And boy, what a quality act he is. You know, if you're a coach and your star players are also great people like Corby Jones, Devin West, Dat Wynn, people of that ilk, you got a great thing going because your best players are also your team leaders by personality and ability. Yeah, Larry Smith, R.C. Slocum, like to say, as Missouri calls timeout, he says, you're in good shape when your stars don't act like stars. Yep. And that's the deal with Corby Jones and company. 14-7, A&M. That was a great point, Dave. That was a good one. Hi, I'm Joe Catania, and this is Central Ford, your at-work Ford dealer. At Central Ford, we're always working to give you the best car buying experience possible. Whether you're looking to buy a new or used car. That's when it's love. That's when it's Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, this is the taste. Dr. Pepper, this is the taste. Big 12 fans, how'd you like to win a trip to the Big 12 championship game? It's easy, just answer the nation's bank salute to excellence question. This week's question, who's the all-time career rushing leader for the Aggies? And there's some good backs to choose from. If you know the answer, visit the Nations Bank website at nationsbank.com slash sports. All correct entries will be entered into a drawing for a trip to see the Big 12 championship game. Third down and four. Jones. Uh-oh. He's throwing up for grabs. And Brandon Jennings has the pick. Oh, he lost it. And Missouri may have got the back. It looked to me like Hellestead dove in the bottom of the pile and came up with the fumble. You have two giveaways on the same play. Holy mackerel. Let's see how this unfolds. Missouri, oh, come up right. Missouri gets it. The ball, an ill-advised throw by Corby Jones. Jennings intercepts the underthrown football, but then it's not free of Jennings. I think Hellestead came up with it. What a, what a play. Corby Jones, once again, falling away from the line of scrimmage. Can't transfer his weight. No way you throw that football. Jennings picks it off, but then hustle after the football. And I tell you, trying to lateral it, ill-advised lateral, and Lehman knocks his arms free. And I think Hellerstedt's the one that comes up with the football. There's no way you lateral that football back to a teammate after you pick it off. Bad move by Jennings. Four fresh downs for Missouri. Devin West to the 25-yard line. Wow. Not, not in that situation and not on a wet field. Once you have the football, just squeeze it. Well, he tried to lateral it back to Curry. I mean, Jennings said, I'm done. I'm in the grass. And I'm going to lateral it back to Curry. And when he did, Lehman tangled up his arms, and the ball harmlessly went to the turf. And I believe it was Hellestad, offensive lineman, serious hustle down the football field, the first one to fall on it. What a play. Second and eight. Jones has a seam on the option. And he'll get about four yards. Stat win and Cedric Curry combined to bring him down. It'll set up third down and a few. Clock moving inside, 10 and a half to go before the next snap. I'll tell you, Corby Jones living a charmed life. First interception he threw, nullified by penalty. This one, nullified by another giveaway. Jennings decides to try to lateral to Curry. Lehman gets involved, ball falls to the turf. Hellerstedt outfights Curry for the football. Unbelievable. The second interception that Jones throws, 
is nullified by a fumble. He's living the charm life. Third and five. West, first down. That win will get credit for his 14th tackle of the day, but they'll move the chains for the Tigers again. Boy, that win, the thing that makes him so good is he puts the element of doubt in the offensive lineman's head. That win attacks you low, he attacks you high, he picks his side, he runs under you, he flows over the top. You never know what he's going to do, so you approach him with a little bit of unsure thoughts in your head, and he takes advantage of it. Boys, he put up some numbers. Numbers in big games, generally speaking, and this game's huge. Jones. Just great defense, great coverage, and then great reaction to Jones when he tried to run it. 40 Royland Bradley, the first one there. Well, I think Corby realized that if he threw the football, he had linemen down the field. It was taking him so long, and he was stopping and starting out there. His linemen started to block for him and had advanced beyond the line of scrimmage. I think the big reason Corby didn't throw that football is he didn't want himself penalized. But he ended up losing a little bit of yardage anyway, off schedule, second and long. 14-7, the Aggies leading. Benton and West in the eye. Devin West. Moving people back to about the 12 or 13. Did the ball come out? And him saying yes. The officials are saying it was blown dead. Forward progress stop. Third down. Biggest third down of the game right here for both squads. The ball came out. The officials felt that forward progress was stopped. Watch again. And Devin West, he's, he's in a whole pile of folks. The whistle is blown at this point. Then the ball hits the turf. a &M comes up with it, but the officials had blown the play dead. His progress had been stopped using a, a rugby scrum, basically going nowhere. They need the five-yard line, third and eight. Missouri, four of 11 on third down. Jones won't get there. Out of bounds at the nine. Now, what do you do if you're Larry Smith? The last field goal you tried was abominable. You go for it here on fourth down to try to score to tie the football game. How many more opportunities will you have for this type of field position? If I'm Larry Smith, I go. I go for it and try to score a touchdown. A shoe, forget the field goal. They can't execute it anyway. And that looks like what they're going to do. Corby Jones stays in the huddle. Larry Smith gives up the headset. Here we go, fourth and four. 7-13 to go in the fourth quarter. A touchdown lead for the Aggies. Tied out Missouri. 7-0-6 left. We're back after this. the deal 706 left Missouri has called their third and final timeout they are faced with fourth and four at the nine yard line of Texas A&M they need the five and it's 14-7 and that's uh, Brian Long who right. missed a field goal earlier and Drew Missouri's one for one on fourth down and the other time that they had fourth down they converted Corby Jones rushed for a touchdown so here's the second fourth down of the day and as you described, no timeouts left. That may hurt him down the end of the stretch of this game. Jones, touchdown. Wow. Dwayne Blakely all alone. Now, do you go for one or two? No, you tie it up. The tie. You tie it up on the road, definitely. Just going to kick that PAT. And these have been an adventure as well. There's no guarantee here, but... What uh, AM decided to do was to pay special attention to the perimeter, perimeter 
their receivers and they left the tight end wide open down the middle of the football field. Vacated the middle of the football field and Blakely said thank you very much. Corby Jones's eyes lit up. Two for two on fourth down. Both Cajuns touchdown. And a good job by Long. And we're tied at 14 with 7.02 left. Blakely's first career touchdown. If you're like most people, your monthly bills outweigh your paycheck. But if you own your own home, First Plus can help tip the scales back in your favor. It's the First Plus solution, one unique home loan that lets you refinance and consolidate your bills, credit cards, and mortgage all into one payment that's less than what you're paying now. And it's available even if you don't have equity. Put some balance back into your budget with the First Plus solution. Call First Plus at 1-800-510-PLUS. Corby Jones, the touchdown pass on fourth down to the redshirt freshman Dwayne Blakely from St. Joseph, Missouri. How, how about Blake? How about Jones, though? Rushes for a touchdown on fourth down and then throws for a touchdown on fourth down. Big play maker. Brad Hamrick will kick it deep. Sir Parker. The guys that R.C. Swoker would like to see handle the football. And it will be Parker. He had the great speed. And he almost got through. Out to the 37-yard line. Randy Potter held on for dear life for a return of 32. Let's see how Blakely gets so wide open. Here he is. Holdman has West in coverage. Blakely comes off the line of scrimmage clean. Holdman tries to reroute him, takes West. Nobody picks up Blakely. No linebackers underneath. Assignment error right there as Holman hit and released. Now earlier, let's take a look at what happened. Corby Jones, ill-advised, throws the ball down the field. Jennings picks it off, tries to lateral to Curry. Lehman knocks his hands off. And then Hellerstedt recovers. Boy, ill-advised there as well. A down, sore shoulder and all, hands off. And Dante Hall doesn't get to the line of scrimmage. Caldron off Easter in the backfield, the strong safety. What, on that turnover, double turnover play, if Jennings doesn't try to pitch back to Curry and intercepts the football, Missouri has no opportunity to score because Jennings tries to make a big play. Lehman hustles in there and gets involved. And the, the, the lateral back falls to the turf. Hellerstedt recovers. The drive continues for Missouri, and they finalize. And that's the Aggies' only turnover of the day. Here's Sir Parker. And he gets maybe a yard. Good reaction by Justin Smith and the Missouri Tigers. It'll set up third down. And all year, Missouri has lived on turnovers. They've been in the end zone defensively four straight weeks, five times overall this year. And they've had at least two turnovers every week. And with 5.50 to go, Dave, they have won today. They have won, and that's that's because a player made a poor decision. It wasn't necessarily what Missouri did. a and shot themselves in the foot. Campbell missed the touchdown pass. Then, of course, ill-advised lateral after an interception. Third and 10. McCown throwing, and he's wide of the mark. Fourth down. They'll have to bring in Leckler. Boy, in a situation like this, Missouri now, no timeouts. Remember, no timeouts, but in college football, the clock stops while they move the chains after first down. That's the only way Missouri will be able to conserve time. Now, the other factor, wouldn't you like to have a field goal kicker right now if you're Missouri? The fact that they do not have a field goal kicker with extraordinary experience and confidence really hamstrings this football team. 
means they probably have to get an extra 15, 20, maybe even more than that in terms of yardage. Brian Long has already missed the chip shot. Leckler got some heat. Low line drive. Potter lost the football. The Aggies have it at the plus 30. What an excellent effort right there by Rodriguez. He knocked the blocker back into the return man and the ball came free. Right there you see Randy Potter looking around saying I was hit. Yeah, you were hit by your own man that was trying to block Rodriguez. Randy Potter comes up to make a play on the football. Signals fair catch. So he's thinking I'm not going to get hit. Well, I'm sorry it wasn't Potter, it was Jones. Toya Jones knocked the blocker into him and Toya Jones as a result of that a fumble and Ricky Huntley doesn't like what he's seeing right there. Uh, I think that's an understatement. <laughs> Ricky might uh, go out there without the helmet and pads right now. What a big play by Jones. Dante Hall with blockers. Got just two. Barry Odom made a nice play. The junior backer from Ada, Oklahoma. Talk about turnovers. Talk about giveaways coming into this football game. Both teams taking the football away one more time than the opposition has per game this year. So far today, though, Texas A&M, the benefactor of giveaways by Missouri that have been hurtful. First down. It'll be third and about a yard and a half. Well, here you are as a, as a linebacker, and you have to make the play on Hall. You're an outside linebacker. He cuts it up inside, and at that point, you're just very grateful that inside Justin Smith fell off of his block to make the play because there was a cavity that any dentist would have had trouble filling right there. That's a new one. I hadn't heard that line yet. Yeah, I'm going to get something going. Third and a long one. McCown, first wow. down to the 14 yard line. Smith came out of there with the football, but it will be first and 10 for the Aggies. And McCown came up rotating that right shoulder. And he falls off the, he follows Tombs on the edge. And McCown, as he gets thrown to the turf by Smith, gets up, starts rotating that right shoulder a little bit, flexing it. What a tough kid, though. You're not going to separate it any worse than it is. It's how much you can tolerate pain in this Paul, not much. Justin Smith made the play. Clock moving inside 335. The executive producers of today's game are Arthur Smith and Bill Borson. And the coordinating producer for college football is Roy Hamilton. Today's game has been produced by our good friend Robert Steinfeld. Directed by Kenny Miller, Vice President of Field Operations, Andrea Jenkins. It'll be second down and nine. Right now, Missouri obviously trying to hold Texas A&M to a field goal attempt. 14-14 football game. Jamar Toos. And the big fella takes a lick, and then Easter comes in. Almost a little bit too late. Yeah. Dave, you pointed this out at halftime, and the trend has continued in the second half. Two evenly matched teams and well played. I know the turnovers always kill you, but what, a couple of penalty flags the whole day? Exactly. These teams are playing at a very high level in terms of efficiency in, in the mental part of the game. We talked about a couple of things at the very top of the broadcast, though. The kicking game. Who will make the big mistake? Who will make the big play? Right now, Missouri has made the big mistake in the kicking game, setting a and up, AM up right here. 37. They run a reverse. Wow. And this is going to lose a ball. Wyatt. Wyatt not fooled. Chris Taylor loses about seven yards. Now the field goal will be in the neighborhood of 39 yards for Bynum. Boy, watch Wyatt play his defensive responsibility right here. He has to stay at home. In case they do this exact thing reverse, he's got that gap responsibility on the backside. Not fooled at all. Stayed home, played his defensive responsibility, and made this more of a challenge in terms of field goal execution. Bynum's career long is 43 yards. 
This is 39. Good snap, good hold. Oh, yeah. And he got it. Russell Bynum, the sophomore from Lamar, Texas, has given the Aggies the lead. With just a buck 30 left. And no timeouts. 17-14, Texas a and This simple looking device is the key to discovering your hidden potential. It can change the look and shape of every line and curve on your body. Because it's the weight, the challenge, and the secret behind one of the most effective fitness machines in the world. Introducing the Bowflex Power Pro. Bowflex uses patented power rod resistance to give you an incredibly smooth, natural feel for over 60 different health club quality exercises. With features like a built-in aerobic rowing exercise, convertible grips, and convenient folding capabilities, it's easy to see why a Bowflex was selected by Fitness Magazine as the best home gym. It's time to get the results you want with no money down and payments as low as $33 a month. Call right now for your free video and brochure and discover the look you've always wanted with the Bowflex Power Pro. 17-14, Texas A&M with 1.30 to play. Missouri will need three, obviously, to tie, and they'll have to traverse the field without any timeouts. Oh, boy, the kicking game. It can be helpful, and it can be hurtful. Leckler kicks it deep. Ricardo Rhodes. And he's dropped shy of the 20. Chad Franchin, the 12th man today. He was originally a 12th man. He got so good, he became the backup linebacker to that win inside. He may be the starter next year in that win instead. And boy, he gave Rhodes the old road block right there. Nowhere to go to, nowhere to hide. Watch him get, he beats, defeats the block and makes a very, very solid hit. He got around Clarence Jones and finalized. Long field to negotiate now with no timeouts. Jones runs out of there. The ball came loose, but the fumble was caused by the ground. A pickup of just four yards, that win, another tackle. Well, I think that win may have been a spy on this particular play. You have a guy like Corby Jones, he's on the blitz, he's no spy, but then he starts mirroring him. He may have been a spy as the extra rush man, or just instincts by him, he started to mirror Corby Jones patiently. Great play. Jones throw, incomplete. A good thing for him it was. Breaking on the football, 23 was Glenn. Jason Glenn. Well, you think about this game. Drop touchdown pass early by Campbell. Missed field goal by Long. Muck punt. So many things. In, the, in a football game like this that is so close, you can go back to a multitude of plays that had an impact on the outcome of this football game. Always the case when you have evenly matched teams. And field position and kicking game have been huge. Third and six. Blitz coming. Layman at the 35, scrambles out of bounds. So a first down. That's the route that Corby throws so well. Hitches, slants, intermediate routes. Corby Jones has excellent timing. It's a five-step drop by the quarterback. The ball is in the air before Layman pivots. He hooks up, takes it to the sideline to get out of bounds. Nice effort by both parties. 44 seconds left. Raymond's got a definite limp going. AM drops seven. Jones to run. He's trying to get out of bounds. And oh. will, though he paid for it. Cedric Curry came up and delivered the blow. That play took 10 seconds and it netted eight yards. Boy, there's so many players down on this football field that have a capital C on their chest for competitive. Corby, Devin, Dak, Gee, 
beast. Amazing. These kids are laying it all out there. They're leaving their hearts and souls on this football field. Everybody will go in and take a shower in sheer exhaustion after this one. You figured that they, they need at least 30, 35 more yards to have a decent shot. Tall order with 34 seconds left. Jones. Webster had the good coverage. Eric Spencer was the intended target. It's third and two. 28 seconds left. So Missouri, first and foremost, needs to pick up the first down. And everybody in that AM huddle, that win saying, look, suck it up. One more rush. Give me some pressure one more time. RC Slocum saying the same thing. Dig down deep, guys. Give me one more play. Actually, two more plays. It's going to be a four down scenario. And Missouri thinking the same thing as they work their way to the sideline. It's come down to this, and rightfully so. What a football game. I, I, if I'm, I'm thinking about giving Corby a two way go, though, third and fourth down, get him out of pocket, get him on the perimeter where he can throw the football or tuck it and run. He's a guy that can do the most damage with his feet and his throwing arm. So I'd have the football in his hands the whole time. This game of great importance, obviously, to both schools. Missouri wants to keep pace with Kansas State. Stay just one game behind. Kansas State has Nebraska this afternoon. And Missouri next week would play, will play Kansas State. And obviously, if they win here and win next week, they'll be North Division champs. Texas A&M, they want to stay a game ahead of the Longhorns. And the Longhorns have to play in Lubbock later on this evening. Texas A&M has won nine straight. They lost their opener in right. the kickoff classic at the Meadowlands in New Jersey to Florida State. And Randy Potter right now thinking, gee, I just could have hung on to that football. I mean, that's that's one, one factor in this one, but there have been plenty of plays that could turn this football game either way. That win wants to go out his last home game with the victory. That's the most important thing. He doesn't care how many tackles. He wants a win. Third and two. Blitz coming. Jones throwing incomplete. Fourth down. Kareem Wise, the intended target. Cedric Curry jumped the route. And who got the hit on Corby Jones as he released the football? That win. Relentless. You know, a lot of times you look out there and you think there's like three or four number nines. He's everywhere. It, it is. It's like he clones himself. I think they should, instead of the 12th man in the honor of Dad Win, make it the ninth man or something in his number. Do something special with that number. It's been everywhere for four years. You're right. The 12th man wears number nine. Fourth and two. Quarterback draw. Jones will have the first down. Now they got to get to the line of scrimmage in a hurry again. No timeouts for Missouri. The clock does stop in college football to reset the chains. Then they'll crank it up again. Missouri has been in hostile environments. They've been at Ohio State. They've been at Lincoln in another hostile environment here. Look at this formation as they cozy up. This might be their spike formation. Now they want a little bit of time to talk about it. What are we going to do on the remaining three downs? Waste it down because you have no timeouts. Clock management. 16 seconds left. Seventeen fourteen. Spike the football. You have time to think it over, get a play call, and not such a harried pace. But you got to get some. You got to get a sizable chunk here, or the next down, to even have a shot. Longest field goal this year, 36 yards. Only two field goals to choose from. Exactly. Had only two made field goals all year. Only attempted four. And if you think about it, for a club to be 7-2 and two and 13th in the country, just 2-4 of four in the field goal department, that tells you that their offense gets a lot of things accomplished in four, on fourth down, and their defense has been great. And those two things are true. And there's the young man, Long who missed a, a short field goal earlier in the game. High snap, I think, disrupted his timing a little bit. It's all rhythm, three phases to a successful kick. Snap, hold, 
grabbed and kicked. And the only guy that executed well on the miss was the holder. You know, a nice job of getting the ball down, but the snapper and kicker didn't execute well. If it is a long field goal, it won't be long. It'll probably be hammering. Exactly. Jones, complete. He fumbled the football. Nope. He dropped Sandy it. was out of bounds. Sandy was out of bounds before he dropped the ball. At the 39-yard line. Ten seconds to go. Let's take a look. Boy, there's some serious contact going on there. Nice catch of the football. Good adjustment. Now it's ripped out by Curry. They're saying he was out of bounds before the football was ripped free. Man, I'll tell you what. Wise got himself a break there, I think. Are they think, calling it I, incomplete? No, I think the ball hit the out-of-bounds line. That was what was ruled. Boy, did it, did it look like that to you? Did it? Wow. That's fortunate. That's a fortunate break for Missouri. You got one snap here and then a field goal in all probability. Jones. Hail Mary. Incomplete with two seconds left. One more of those is all you got. You can't kick your field goal here. That's right. You know, hook and ladder. Eh, no goal. What are they going to do? You know what? Going for a monster? They're going to jog a field goal unit out. Well, this thing's going to be 57 yards or somewhere in that vicinity. And the kicker will be hammering. Well, wouldn't it be ironic that two for four with the kicking game struggling all year long, you end up drilling a 57-yarder to tie up a huge game. Ready to feel the noise? Are you ready to rock? Then crank it up to 11. It's Monsters of Rock! Monsters of Rock. 35 huge hits on two CDs and... of rock. This 35-track collection is not sold in stores. Irony of ironies for Missouri. Struggles in the kicking game all year, and it comes down to a 56-yard kick for a true freshman, Brad Hammerick. Uh, you better get elevation, Drew, because the longer the field goal, usually you drive the football. This is potentially blockable. Let's see if you can get it up. No. Survive, make it 10 in a row. 17 14 over Missouri. The Achilles heel finally tore for Missouri. It was a problem all season, a problem this football game, and ultimately was the difference in the football game. Take a look at this uh, kick one more time. Again, high snap. Holder has to stretch, get the snap down. Not all that bad. Just not, not hit, not struck solidly at all. Too far up the football field, up, up, up on the football. Trying to drive it, hit the middle of the football, but no opportunity at all. Texas A&M. 17-14, the sixth-ranked Aggies are moved to 10 and 1. We'll come back after this. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan Deardorff. Where would you go for a home equity loan? Let's ask. Well, banks have the best rates. But banks only lend money when you don't need. Bank is different. They lend money to. 